Hey Chumbas, welcome. This is Cyberpunk Spitfire. I am your game master and friend of the week, Kelly, and this is our ragtag crew of runners and uh, let's see, uh, futuristic troublemakers in the far off year of 2076. Let's give a big hand to all of them. Hello, everybody. Hello. All right. So starting this off, why don't we go ahead and introduce ourselves, tell you uh, who you are, who you are playing, and what this world is. And then for those of you who have never, ever seen anything cyberpunk aside from tw Cyberpunk 2077, this is a game set in the far off year of tw uh, 2076 in Night City, the very same Night City that needs so many upgrade patches that you will be T-posing <laughs> all the way into our subscription. Uh, so... Uh, Cyberpunk has been around for about 30, yeah. 38 years yeah. now? Close to 30 years. No, 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 it <laughs> came out in the 80s. Yeah. This, this, oh, yeah. This yeah, is 2021. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, yeah. originally it was a game called Cyberpunk 2020, which was developed by a man named Mike Pondsmith, uh, who formerly worked for Microsoft and a couple of other uh, big-name game companies uh, back in the day designing things like Ultima. I believe it was Ultima that he worked on. Uh he wanted to design a like the original Ultima, like way back when. Uh, he wanted to design a cyberpunk world, but found that his uh, his vision couldn't match what was digitally available at the time. It would take too much uh, too much tech, too many delays, too much Keanu Reeves, and uh, mm -hmm. so he decided that the best way to do it would be to create a tabletop role playing game in the vein of his favorite movies, books and entertainment media. Thus came Cyberpunk 2020. Uh, you probably know it from Cyberpunk 2077, which was by um, uh, CD Projekt or CD Projekt, depending on how, uh, how Polish you want to get, <laughs> um, which, uh, depending on what kind of system you have, is a great game or the worst thing that ever came out. Uh, I have a great PC right now, so I thought it was great. You can watch my streams. Uh, and this is the game that we are going to play. Cyberpunk Red is a system that we are all very new at, although uh, Kel, who is playing Rain White over there, was just <laughs> saying that she actually cut her teeth on Cyberpunk 2020. A one shot way like i said way back in the day nice so <laughs> at least 20 years ago <laughs> cyberpunk red is brand new it came out this past year and in, in the year of our well, i came out in cyber it came out in 2020 which is pretty perfect for cyberpunk yeah in the year of our just, just before they, they started dealing with the game <laughs> right like the video game so uh, that is the game we're going to play. This is technically episode one. It's also kind of our beta episode, so hopefully you will enjoy this. We're going to stumble through the rules and really get a sense of it, but we wanted to do it with you watching. So with that in mind, we are going to be using our real characters with our um, with our real setting that we've been developing on the back burner for about the last two months and are going to be using a pre-done module just so that we kind of get a sense of how the game works, how the game plays. Uh, if there's anything else that you would like to know about the characters and uh, or about the city or the world, feel free to mention it in the chat. And um, I will try to lean in that direction. Uh, besides that, uh, I think for the most part, let's stick away from using any, uh, any channel points today just because we're kind of fiddling around with it. Uh, and I don't have any cyberpunk specific ones. If you do end up using it, I'll just kind of ad lib it so that if you do something for like determination maybe i'll just give a player a plus two on their roll or something like that sound good i, I will adhere to the hydrate option though oh yeah hydrate is fine <laughs> oh, yeah. i think Mom. i have stretch in yeah. there and i also have uh, russian roulette so you can accidentally time yourself out because <laughs> <laughs> uh i suggest that everyone oh, oh nacro already did tie right okay oh of course Nicola. i run out of the water just before that yeah send your cat to get it <laughs> all right all right, so let's go ahead and say hello to the members of Spitfire. Hello, Kel. Hello, I'm Kel. You may know me from literally down up the road from Kel and Christine's. I hope that's uh, not where people know you from. <laughs> I like, don't think so. That's where oh, you I know, know me that's, from. That's the one yeah. that lives up the street from the guys I'm stalking. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm Kel. Uh, I, I'm playing Rain White, the... Uh, the uh, band leader, the uh, solo DJ rock star uh, who came up with Spitfire. And uh, this is her club and she's uh, doing her best to keep keep shit going. 
All right. And, that's and the cat. anything you want anything you want to say about the game and how you feel about it? I am looking forward to it. I am a huge cyberpunk fan. I am a huge fan of of this type of gritty noir futuristic style I, I i'm a huge william gibson fan i've had many uh my my claim to fame is i've had many twitter chats with him he's a lovely man and uh nice. yeah told me where to get the best uh Hainanese chicken and rice in uh, vancouver one time so, so yeah so I, I, i've read all i've read all the urban all the sprawl books and yeah so so this, I, is, this is the world i want to live in kind of almost i accidentally hurt <laughs> william gibson's feelings really bad once i, I think because yeah. uh, I, I was at a book Don't signing and I was looking for other books so I wasn't beh I was like somehow behind the cordons where everyone else was and I'm looking through the sci-fi section and William Gibson wanders over and I realize it's William Gibson because who else would be allowed back here I don't know how I'm still allowed back here they just kind of forgot about me so I go over and I say hi and I accidentally I I was like, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into reading more cyberpunk. Uh, I'm really excited that I'm going to go by, um, what was it? What's what's the one? Oh. Uh, Snow Crash, which is by the other cyberpunk oh, author. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I didn't find out until later that he didn't write it. And I was so upset. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, bro. Oh, oh bro. I'm sorry. Um, he seemed oh, like a really nice guy, though. Like he didn't he like punch me. He's super nice. No, no, he's super nice. He's super <laughs> chill. All right. Hello, sweet guy, Michael. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. It's me, that guy who formerly of Strahd, uh, Zan, what, whatever. Still kind uh, of past history now. Uh, in this game, I'm going to be playing Vale Fender, a badass former military soldier who is now turned <laughs> to. Uh, probably leftover 80s hairband uh, bassist and also Rain's personal bodyguard. So if shit goes down, Vale will break it in half. Sounds good. And uh, you love cyberpunk. It's like your favorite genre, right? Oh, cyberpunk. I've seen Blade Runner more times than than I can count. All versions of it, too. <laughs> and Same. I've played, yeah. I've played 2077 the moment it came out, even though it was broken as hell on the PlayStation 4 everyone you know, have a moment of silence and i'm still enjoying every moment of it so mm. t, t pose with dicks out for cyberpunk 2077 <laughs> <laughs> hey james how's it going hey pretty well yourself eh, not bad i haven't seen you in a while yeah i know it's been a little bit uh yeah so uh, anyway uh hi stream i'm uh, i'm james uh, and i'm going to be playing ramon striver uh, who is uh spitfire's uh uh fixer who basically uh, uh arranges for the gigs uh makes sure that they uh, get the supplies that they need makes uh, wheels and deals with the local gangers uh, and uh, basically finds us a lot of our side business which is uh, necessary to keep the whole club going um uh yeah um I, as a on a personal level, I've long time been a fan of uh, of uh, anything cyberpunk. Mostly cut my teeth on Shadowrun. I haven't ever actually played a cyberpunk game uh, until I started kind of getting involved in uh, this one in 2077. But I've always loved the genre. Uh, just somehow I always managed to avoid that one, probably because I was running everything. And I just do Shadowrun, and that's what I kind of mm. uh, But yeah, that was my kind of scene. All right. um, yeah. And uh, hi, Millie. Hi, I'm Millie. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce myself in chat here too. So hi, I'm Bunny Hearted in chat. If you see me there, I'm some kind of nerdy, weird VTuber who's now turning in my VTuber car by showing my face on his stream. The VTuber Council will be able to get me, I'm sure. Uh, and I'm playing Sabina Bini Horvath, who is sort of an awkward net runner who who left her friends, these these cool cats here, uh, behind to climb the corporate tower and then got pushed off. So she's sort of um, struggling to reconnect, to rebuild, to figure out what the absolute heck to do with whatever scraps of her life remain. Uh, I'm also a really, really big fan of cyberpunk. I've never played anything that is actually cyberpunk. I, I didn't play 2020. I haven't played this new game, um, but I, I love the setting very, very much. It's a much more colorful and interesting version of the the boring cyberpunk dystopia that we we find ourselves in right now. So that's true. There's there's very little <laughs> space bork inside of this. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> 
All right, so the thing is, real quick, uh, so most of you who are watching this know me from running World of Darkness games, running uh, fantasy-based games, things like that. Sci-fi and cyberpunk is not 100% in my wheelhouse, so as an audience and as players, if there's ever any time where you need me to adjust the dials a little bit, make it a little more noir, a little more cybery, a little more mean, because this is apparently a very mean game, uh, please let me know, and I'm happy to oblige my... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a warm gooey guy. So like my, my sentiment is usually not to like do horrible things to players unless it's been built up over like several seasons. But like, if you want me to shoot your grandma in game one, I will. Okay. If you want me to shoot your grandma in game one, you know, rains that's, down for that. that that's 20 eddies, right? Hurt, hurt me daddy. Yeah. Hey, it's a lot more than 20 eddies. Okay. 22 eddies. Expect uh, to get more than 20 depends eddies. On, depends it. on the grandma, really. Like how, how cool is this grandma? <laughs> Well, I get to keep the bacon. You get to keep the bacon. <laughs> All right. So, Night City, 2076, is a sprawling metropolis on the West Coast. Buffeted by rain, mist, fog, and pollution. It's a city that has recovered from poverty, from war, from a nuclear strike. Hell, most of the people that are living there now may have been there at some point when the nuke went off. A nice radiation filter installed into your meat suit goes a long way, after all. Population is booming. People sleep inside of cargo containers. What doorways don't have electrified rims? And if you need anything for meeting kibble to acquiring guns, the night market's the place where you want to be. Our story takes place inside of... Uh, which district are you guys in? Describe your home. So cyberpunk... Um, well, I, I'm living in Rain's home. Okay. <laughs> Describe our home. All right. So you are in the Watson district of Night City. Just outside. Let me pull up a cyberpunk map. Okay. We were in Kabuki, weren't we? Yeah, you're in Watson. Yeah, right on the edge. Right. Yeah. Right on the edge of Kabuki. Yeah. All right. And if you if you want to go find it in the game, it's like right across the street from where the Sun Tarot card is. Nice. On any given night, inside of the club known as Spitfire, this derelict little half underground, literally, nightclub. The base is pumping. Bodies are sweating and grinding with servos and pumping blood. People are taking whatever recreational drugs or stems or um, brain dances that can be uploaded in the dark corners. And What are you normally doing there on a regular night rain? Oh, you know, I'm just seeing that the club's running fine and uh, everybody's behaving themselves and don't have to get veiled to kick ass on the, on the way in or out. Okay. The bass is pumping. Who's the act on tonight? It's an EDM artist. Yeah, it's some new, it's some new kid. He's got some good tunes. He's a bit cocky for my taste, but, you know, I'll give him a shot. And if he uh, manages to keep his nose clean and doesn't piss me off too much, I might have him back. So far, he's okay. All right. As long as he doesn't drink name? too much. What's his name? Uh, he's got one of those like old school names. He thinks he's an old school DJ, so he's like he actually goes by like DJ Shadow or something like that. I what I didn't really give. Two God, who would do that? Who would do that? It's it, it was so it was so cheesy. It's just like whatever, whatever your name is. DJ Shadow Flame. Yeah, <laughs> something douchey. All right, so DJ Shadow Flame is up on top of the stage. Uh, spinning digital records on top of an old busted ass turnstile that he's fused back together with a bit of soldering and uh, and the ever-present duct tape. Overall, the place is not as busy as it normally would be, but hell, it's a Sunday night. About 50 people inside, drinking overpriced liquor. That's how I make my eddies. 
Uh, where are you right now inside of the club? Uh, near the back, kind of a, a little bit of a roped off section. It's not really VIP, but I just don't want anybody to you know, invade good. my vibe. Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you roll me two mm -hmm. d10s? And do me a favor. Tell me, uh, is your bartender, um, what pronouns does your bartender use? Changes from day to day. I'm going by okay. they, them, just because I don't, I can't be arsed to figure it out. Okay, so they, them, no worries at all. They, them. I think that's the way I'm going to ask in the future for, for Cyberpunk, for sure, because yeah. asking, like, gender's irrelevant in 50 years, you know? Uh, okay. And and changes by the day is totally valid. Yeah. Okay. Do you want the total? Uh, yeah. Tell me what the two numbers are. G uh, separately. separately. Twenty and five. Twenty and five. All right. Yep. So. Okay. So your bartender's name is a person named Noise Doma. Cool. Tell me what noise is like. Despite the name, noise is is pretty quiet. Um, they kind of keep to themselves. They good worker. I mean, knows all the drinks. Uh, what do they look like? Yeah. Like tall, broad, they're, thin. Yeah, they're they're tall. They're they're tall, kind of built. You know, could can could defend themselves if needed. Uh, no, but intimidating enough that nobody uh, steps out of line at the bar. And if they try, you know, just a, a a quick glare from, from noise is enough to get anybody back in line, so. Uh, and any particular vocal mannerisms that I should employ? Uh, I'm trying to, th I'm trying to think. They, they don't talk a lot, so it, it's always kind of surprising when, when they do speak, because it's just they don't speak unless they need to. Alright. You'll receive a little buzz on your on your um, I guess what are they called? They're called agents. Agent. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, your know. agent is going to flash a message across the screen from Noise that mm -hmm. says, uh, "Veil's here." And I will text back. Uh, send them out. Send them back. Okay. Veil, you walk into the club. The music on stage is strange. DJ Shadowflame is trying a little bit too hard, and the customers are getting a bit restless. Shadowflame's going to do his best, uh, and he's going to do very poorly, based on that dice roll, uh, to keep the music kind of rolling and and pumping. Uh, it, if you don't like this one, maybe I have something from uh, a little blast from the past for you. A little blast from the past. Oh. Does anybody remember the past? Nobody wants the past. The past sucks. I, I think the past had enough blasts in it already. It's been blasted, yeah. Let's, uh, let's try, try this one. This is an oldie from the 1980s. Who the fuck remembers the 80s? Classical music. Alright. And he will put on some background synth wave. Veil, vale, you strut into the bar. The lights are low, the lasers and fog are swishing around the dance floor. Swishing's the right word. It's honestly like the room is trying to gargle you. You follow the path of neon lights, the little floor pads that light up, some of them cracked and broken. And we'll head back into the back office area where Rain is kind of lounging around. Well, is I would have done a detour to the bar to get a beer first. If Noise. I got to deal with Rain, I'm Noise drinking. Noise nods and hands you uh, hands you a synth beer. Uh, what's your favorite brand? Uh oh, it, this it's brand just is, a... is Spitfire. Oh, you guys do your own brewing? There is a, yeah, there is a house <laughs> beer. Oh, it's, it's Basically labeled. just slap labels on whatever cheap-ass beer we buy. Okay, so you, your favorite beer that you have here is called the house beer, spelled in the German fashion. House? Yeah, house. It's the house Frau. Mmm. Tastes like schnitzel. Mm. <laughs> Noise will nod at you and go back to serving their customers. And I will 
beeline to the back. All right. The back is separated by... Uh, I'm going to take some liberties, Kel. Feel free to change that later if you want. Mm-hmm. The back is separated by strips of thick plastic, almost like at a car wash. A curtain that you press through that squeaks a bit as you push through the old, thick, dry plastic. Inside is a a ring of sofas. The type where the upholstery comes in at these little oppressed buttons. You know the kind. Uh, What color is it here? Is it all mixed up shit that you found on the side of the street, Vale? Yeah, it's it's mixed up shit. (laughs) Dumpster diving. Nice. Dumpster chic. Dumpster chic. Dumpster chic. Dumpster chic. Oh. D- Dumpster chic is my favorite wrestler. Mm. <laughs> All right. As you push inside, you will see Vale sitting there, spending the end of her Sunday night. Rain. What did I say? Nothing on the backwards. I said, said we're, Vale. I said Vale. I'm I said, Rain. Vail. All these four-letter <laughs> names. I know, I know. <laughs> We're getting right. used to it, too. So, Rain, okay. go ahead and describe yourself Rain. for the audience. Okay, Rain is uh, Rain is female, identifies as female. Um, she's about 45, hopefully doesn't look it. She's trying her best not to look it. Um, but a little bit of hard partying in, their, in her past. Uh, she has tech hair, which means it does change color from time to time on her whim. Current tonight, it is pink and short. That's the way she's rolling. Uh, she likes loud, flashy makeup. So, yeah, pink, hot pink eyeshadow to go with the pink hair tonight. She does have, she doesn't have a lot in the way of cybernetics, at least not on the face, because, you know, the face is the moneymaker. Gotta, gotta keep that pristine. That's, she likes that. But there is a little bit of, uh, it, it's just the the, the skin elements, you know, the the skin wear uh, across across the eye, you know, because that's sort of cool, and you know she likes that uh, kind of off center uh, feel to it. Nice. And uh, yeah. Um, and Vale, what do you look like? Um, well, pretty much what you're seeing. Um, yeah. Vale, Vale is pangender, so there's kind of a large flexibility as far as gender expression um standing about six or five ten but always wears platform so comes in over six feet every time uh solid looks like probably works out on the weekends um and as far as dumpster diving usually is the one who's dumping people into those dumpsters so all right uh, has really no interest in playing games just get to the point Sounds good. You push through the plastic sheeting. Now, the reason that you're here tonight is, well, you're here every night, really. But later on, you have heard from your fixer, Ramon, that there is a job coming in. You're a little early, but hey, this is home, isn't it? So, pushing through, what do you do? I will go plant my butt in the closest seat and start working on my beer acknowledge acknowledge terrain just by kind of waving yeah enjoy yourself your beer says as you pop it open Mm. i'll do the snap the finger and shoot the cap across the room distance Uh, it sounds like there might be an audio adjustment. One sec, let me just make sure that. Is anybody having trouble hearing me? Just doing a quick test. Kazrak, you said that you're having a little trouble hearing me. Everybody else? I, I can hear you, right? Yep. Yeah, you can yeah. hear me just fine? Hopefully it's yeah, no worries. I'm just wondering if it's my output settings. So, it should be fine. If not, I can turn it up a little bit. Mm. No problems? Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, let's move to closer. Yeah. All right, so Sweet. Vale, you sit down. Rain, is there anything you're going to talk about, or are you just waiting for the next member of your crew to arrive? I'm just so Vale. What's uh, what's with this job? All I heard is that there's a job. All I heard was the garbage you have on stage right now. Where'd you find that? 
like Need something for is it, Sunday night. Is it charity night? How much are you paying Pretty this much. idiot? <laughs> He's paying me to be here. Okay, that's if he doesn't legit. drink too. If he doesn't drink too much. Is he running a tab? <sighs> Hell no. Oh good. I don't take credit from shit like this. Well, the he dance floor be... is not even close to being packed, so yeah. It's Sunday night. I mean, never is, but whatever. It's not like he'll be back anyway. With that, um, Beanie, you already live here. So where would you be on a night like tonight? Oh, anywhere but here, like okay. like in in the building, but as far away as possible from the the weird dance nonsense. Keeping an eye on it through the cameras and an AR setup, and probably tweaking the programming on my VR ferret, which is still not quite ferrety enough. Donut could use some work. Sort of watching to see uh, when folks arrive and appear. All right, so. There is, uh, there's only one more person to arrive at this point, and that is, of course, your former paramour, Ramon. That fucking idiot. Yep, that kind of <laughs> sums that up. Okay, so, uh, but no... We, actually, I totally didn't do a character description. Should I do a you, character you description? You did not, so, uh, as the camera pans through the security camera inside did of Rain's pan. office, mm -hmm. we are going to get a view of Beanie... Uh, kind of slumped over with her VR headset on or something? Basically in a giant pile of shitty blankets. Nice. Looking sort of like something that recently came from a dumpster because she did. Uh, I guess for description, Beanie is a trans woman. She's got a rounder face than mine, but very similar kind of outfit. She's trying to go for a bohemian chic, but she can't afford it, nor does she quite know what bohemian looks like. Nice. I think today she looks mostly like a newspaper boy with weird hair. Isn't that Bohemian Chic? Beanie's Beanie. <laughs> it probably is. It probably is. Nice. All right. And as you see that, you are going to see a man enter the front of the club. Uh, describe yourself, James. All right. Uh, well, Ramon is uh, not a particularly tall man, but uh, definitely of uh, Spanish descent. He's got like a... Uh, he probably stands about five nine. Uh, has uh, kind of shorter, uh, short curly, uh, uh, curly black hair and uh, and uh, kind of a well trimmed, uh, well trimmed beard. Um, he is dressed uh, quite out of place compared to most of the most of the people around him. He's actually wearing like uh, slacks, business shirt, uh, but uh, but with um, uh, some armor jack right over top of it. So he actually has like a well, it looks like a Kevlar vest. Um, uh, draped over him. Um, nice vest, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, and uh, uh, he actually, yeah, like, uh, he actually does have a weapon, like strapped to strapped to his um, uh, strapped to his uh, his calf. Um, and uh, he'll come, uh, he'll come striding in with his uh, probably through the, into the, through the shadow of the main entrance. His his eyes are going to be gleaming as he's uh, keeping track of stuff with his cyber eyes. Um, All right. uh, well, simultaneously, they're like, they're like, back polished, so they kind of gleam like a almost like a cat's does. Doesn't actually have any like in-game effect, but it's a as fun you, little as aesthetic. As you walk inside, a little bit of the lighting and uh, and the laser show that uh, has been here for God longer than the club, it feels like, is going to make your eyes independently glow a bright, gleaming cobalt and a neon purple, just as the song changes. It's enough that um, one of the. Uh, uh, one of your distant chumbas at the bar is going to actually take a, a step back and you'll see her eye just um, recalibrate as she tries to uh, push through some of the neurochems that she's imbibed that night. She's drunk off her ass and you just scared the crap out of her. I'll just smirk in, smirk in her direction, uh, take a quick count of uh, of the place and probably kind of glare at the... Uh, uh, at the uh the act on on screen as I just kind of wade through the crowd. All right. Uh, I'll head straight for the back, I think. All right. The bodies are pumping in around you and you can smell the sweat dripping to the floor as well as whatever synthetic oil is used to grease those cyber gears. <sighs> You'll see... Just kind of... <laughs> out of the way. 
there will be a number of messages that are going to start flooding your vision as your agent starts just sifting through. Uh, you're going to have, of course, like the normal ads. Want to be taller, faster, stronger, longer? Go ahead and click here right now. Then the next one is, have, have you tried new Kibble Chipotle Ultra Plus? It's got mm -hmm. twice the Chipotle as our normal kibble. Alchemax, your place to get food. I'll probably save that one because I might need some of that. Some one. Chipotle? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, then the last one is going to be a message from the fixer that you are meeting tonight. Hornet. Running 15 late. Murder on the freeway. Fair. Fair. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, now, the book does not describe Hornet at all. So real quick, <clears> I'm <throat> just going to generate what he is. Okay? And who he is. So, according to the book, he is Oceana Pacific Islander. And... Yeah, so that's that's basically... He is going to be... He's going to be a dope-looking Samoan dude. Sounds good. So, The Rock? Yeah, he's basically going to be like... He's going to be like... <laughs> the, you know what? He's going to be the pebble. He's not quite that big. Pebble. <laughs> uh, I like it. All right. So, with that, you can push your way into the back room. The two of them are already sitting there. Rain, Vale? What's with the counts tonight? It looks really... It's really dead out there. Yeah, well... Some chumba wanted to have a go. Figured he'd make his name in my club, and it's not working. Not. It's not working. I don't even know his damn name. Why didn't yeah, you call me about it? Back. DJ Garbage Fire. DJ Garbage Fire. It's Sunday night. It's not going to be that much better on if even if I had a good act. So what the hell? Yeah. Well. We gotta plot something for better, something better for for Monday, Tuesday, or uh, we're not gonna have enough to keep, you know, tapping up the the house beer. Yeah, I got some. What? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm like we're up. like a month in arrears, man. We gotta get it done. And, yeah, yeah. Be fine. Don't worry about and it. And Striver will dro drop himself heavily onto one of the uh, uh, heavily onto one of the benches and just put his feet up on the uh, on the table. Find the furniture, eh? <sighs> Uh, we're gonna replace it. Let's not worry about it. Actually, is, do I notice any cameras in here? Yeah, there is going to be a camera directly overhead. And as you look up, you will see the focus lens go down at you, almost blinking at you. I I will I will I will I will smile sweetly that direction and then give it the finger. Very <laughs> nice. I'm gonna head over that way. Oh, you know there's no nice with 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 Beanie. Uh, she's got in her mind yeah. that. Uh, th I don't know. I what, 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 what are you saying? I definitely can't hear you over the comm system. Oh, like that's that's literally what he says. He's she's he's not. He never she's got it in her mind. Like just just as long as you two don't kill each other inside, I don't care. As long as you know you're in, in here, there's no bloodshed. Hey. You know me, business first. Business yeah, first. I know. It'll pop into the room. Well, it'll be difficult for him to kill me. An alarm goes off whenever he enters the building. <laughs> now, children. Time. <laughs> so, what's this thing? Oh, uh, we got about 15 minutes before uh, before Horner will get here. He uh, messaged me, uh, someone, uh, someone got themselves wrecked on the highway. He's a fixer. Can't he fix it? Uh, what? Rain? No, that's not how it. That's not it's how not anything highway. works. <laughs> now look at a corporate hauler. Uh, a corporate hauler out there, pretty quick. Brandon. I feel like a real fixer could fix the highway, Ramon. <laughs> oh, it's Night uh, City. It kind of does what it what it wants. <laughs> Rain, you're going to get a message flash in front of your eyes that says, "Someone here to see you." Tiger Claw. Who's the message? Who's the message from? Noise. Is it from Noise? Uh, I want to flick back. Um, who is it? I don't know, but they're loud. Uh, hey, uh, and you're going to get. Can you give me a look? You're going to get an image 
uh, that mm -hmm. she's going to, oh, pardon me, that, uh, they. that they're going to text you. They. Well, who knows tonight? Mm -hmm. you said That's they, true. Yeah, so. Can't be bothered to, ch to well, check. So we'll, we'll, yeah. go with, we'll go with they just to be easy. Um, they. So, they uh, are going to text you an image of a uh, a fairly tall woman of you think Japanese descent. Uh, tons of tattoos down one arm, the other one completely cybered out, removed at the shoulder. Uh, bits of gear um, kind of visible through a translucent mesh that covers her shoulder cap, as well as a number of tubes going into her uh, rather muscular chest. Um. Hmm. She's packing, and it's pretty obvious. Yeah. It looks like the typical um, plastic submachine gun that the Tiger Claws keep on their lower level members. Mm. Okay, do I recognize this person? Why don't we go ahead and uh, let's find out. So, let's find out. Uh, what skills do you have that would aid in knowing this? Uh, I have, what would, what would help me know this? Local expert, mate. Mm, local expert might for sure. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for it. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, the expert. sheets are a bit um, complex. Yeah, local expert, my home. Um, this is yeah, your home. I have local expert, my home. Yeah, so yeah, eight. All right, so roll me a d10. Okay. And what I will okay. do is I will check this against the difficulty chart, which is All somewhere right. in here. I got a nine. You got a nine? Okay. You're all the one. Oh, hey, what are the botch mechanics on oh. this? That's one thing I didn't, I couldn't find. Oh, if you roll a one, oh, you botch. Yeah. If you roll a ten, you get a critical. So did you roll uh, a one? I no, I rolled a nine. So oh, okay. So so you so add I'm the adding to the it to. So I've got seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, that's way better than Eight. nine. Whoa! Hey. All right. <laughs> Uh, so as you uh, take a look at that, um, yeah, actually, uh, she is a. Um, She's a wannabe rocker girl named Akira Biako. Hmm. Um, okay. She even had her arm done up, kind of as a uh, as an homage to an old rocker boy from the 2020s, 2030s. Mm -hmm. uh, one that you probably have never heard of. I don't know, Goldie Hands or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. Whatever. And uh, Jose, Jose Goldie Hands. I think that's right. Um, yeah. Uh, some, but she has symbol. been trying to put major pressure on you uh, to get a chance mm -hmm. to be on, well, the stage that's currently being shat on by DJ Shadowflame. She can't be much worse. I'll go talk to her. I'll go out and talk to her. All right. As you turn around, or probably as you head out the Can door. Can you bring me one of those beers that talks to you? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'll just kind of, you know, snap to, to noise and see if uh, they'll bring one over to Beanie. They like Beanie. They'll nod and Beanie never causes, bring one Beanie over. Beanie never causes any problems, so Noise will do pretty much anything for Beanie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Soloman in the chat being able to understand my references. Good job. <laughs> All right. Uh, so as you uh, as you approach, you're going to get a better look at Biako, and, and uh, Biako has a very particular look to her. She's got... Um, She's got that digital skin around her neck with mm -hmm. these big tiger stripes kind of along her neck and up along the edge of her hairline. Uh, but mm. as she turns and looks at you, her painted lips, which are this deep plum color, are going to be the most disturbing part because she smiles at mm. you. And you are going to just barely, as the music dips for a moment, hear the hydraulic musculature as her mm. jaw stretches her smile up beyond her cheekbones for a moment. Good to see you. Her That's voice funky. has a, just got it done. Helps mm. with the screamo. Cool. Who's this turd? Hmm. Well, as was suggested to me, apparently I'm running a charity night here tonight. Apparently you're running a morgue because you? you've got flatliners on the stage. Oh, it's Sunday. It's always <laughs> dead, Phil. Yeah. Well, Sunday fun day. Mm, I thought you right. wanted something hard. Uh, not sure what uh, what really brings them in on a Sunday. Well, you've got this gomi. Changes. And yet you turned me down for this gomi gonk. Yeah, well, even us old schoolers can make mistakes. So, think you, think you can do better? Fuck yes. All right. When do you want to take over? 
<laughs> I'll zero him right now if you want. Have at it. How zero do you want him? He doesn't have to be dead. I mean, the kid's just stupid. Where I come from, stupid and dead usually go hand in hand. Uh, he can get dead outside. I don't want blood in my club. All right, fine. The street will take care of him. You can just show him the door. Don't mind if I do. Uh, with that, she will approach the stage and... Um, uh, as he's just kind of spinning this low kind of vapor wave bullshit, um, she'll walk up, slap her metal arm, pardon me, it's the right arm, slap her metal arm on the mm -hmm. side of the table. The music will just suddenly screech to a stop. And she will sweep the entire top of the table onto the ground. Pick it up, you fucking Yano. We got real Bill's music standing. going in here. Vale's jumping up at this point. Yeah, mm -hmm. Ramon, Ramon will get up as well and probably go look out the uh, plastic on. shooting. He's got a chance. So, yeah, no, Rain's just gonna, you know, again, you know, snap fingers and like, hey, you, oh, you're done. But I, I was just getting started, no. right? Cozy blanket. You're finished. <laughs> Fuckers. He'll, Eat it, boyo. He'll clean up his things and begin to head out. What do you Chumbas want tonight? Akira will say into her microphone. This is one I call... Something loud! Huh. <laughs> you want something back. fucking loud? This is one I call Katana. Uh, and uh, she will start playing a synth track. Uh, she's going to plug her interface directly in. And then, uh, when the music kind of hits its pace, is going to start just screaming over it. And uh, if anybody wants this, this is White Bat Audio, Katana. His song is dope as hell. Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, I'm going to turn that down to background levels. All right, and she's going to just start screaming into the mic. As she does... Um, her mouth is going to open kind of like a viper, like like a snake trying to swallow an egg as, she, as she's um, is screaming into the microphone. Oh, thanks for the follow-up. All right. And uh, as that happens, you are going to hear... Uh, actually, you're going to see that... Um, some more people are headed into the bar, including a text message that you receive at the same time, Ramon, that says, here. All right. Uh, I'll uh, tell him to grab what he wants from the bar and then uh, head over to uh, head over to the uh, to our, like, I'll give Mark my, my position at the back of the club. Sounds good. All right. Uh, before long, you will see um you will see Hornet enter. Now Hornet is a tall, broad man in his uh, in his indiscriminate 40s or 50s. Enough that he's starting to get a little bit of salt and pepper around the hairline, but uh, the entire top has been dyed this Rufio pink. And uh, as he enters, you see that he is with a sidekick. Uh, now, can you give me an area knowledge roll, please, James? Or um, yeah, totally. Or uh, a fixer knowledge roll, basically. Just to know a little bit about uh, this guy. Sure. Uh, well, I could do streetwise. Uh, or give, me, I could give me a streetwise do... roll. Sure. One streetwise roll. Uh, that's going to be 17. Fantastic. All right. So Hornet, what you need to know about Hornet is... Uh, let's see. Hornet. Boop, boop, boop. And I guess, does he have any reputation? Yes, he does. Uh, in fact, he's in the book. Let me go look him up. Ooh. Yeah. They don't say anything yeah. about what he looks like, though. So he is Pacific Islander for this game. If someone has an old copy of uh, Cyberpunk 2020 where he's mentioned, please let me know. Okay. Uh, 308. You lied to me. It is actually on... Oh, 
Okay, so with the 17, you... There we go, 305. Okay, what you're going to know is that... A self-made man with a score of enemies, Horner has become well-known and respected in Night City over the last several years. Originally a small-time forger from Haywood, Hornet made his bones working with the Arasaka until the tail end of the Fourth Corpo War, providing deadly chemical weapons, at least some of which were part of his own design. Uh, he works in most markets uh, and has a lot of alliances with Nomad Packs. Uh, he's your, one of your go-to guys if you need cybertech, biotech, or drugs. Uh, travels often, and uh, the man behind him, well, the person behind him, it's uh, very hard to actually see what this person looks like. They're basically wearing head-to-toe tactical black and a mask that covers their facial features. Um, dangling from their back is a uh, an unmistakable item, a mono katana. Hmm. Uh, All right, then. That is uh, his bodyguard, a solo named Sorry. Fox. Cat. Oh, that's okay. Cats happen. Hornet, Fox, good to see you. Please, come into our office. Don't mind if I do. And I'll shake hands with him if he's down for that. Hmm. Uh, he has big catcher's mid-sized hands compared to yours, and we'll... Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I will make a token... I will make a token effort to, like, shake it firmly, even though I'm... James, you fixed escaping. your audio. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So oh, it looks God. like it was. That's why it was I was hearing something weird. Cool. Yeah, sorry. I never, I never considered that. No, 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 no. I think Kel was broadcasting before game because I think she was watching something about tasing someone. No. Okay, someone was logged into Roll Twenty when I was doing my prep work, and I kept hearing like my TV oh. kept being like, "Tase him again." <laughs> oh, that like, yeah, that was uh, the hang. <laughs> okay. Um, and for those of you who are looking to run this module, you can find it on the company's website. Uh, so if you just go to uh, uh, Talsorian Games, it is on their download section. Get the one that's for Cyberpunk Red, not for Cyberpunk Jumpstart, if you have the actual book. Uh, then you can follow along. We'll see, because you can see how much of this I'm making up on the fly. Well, and in my notes, because I got this cool notebook now. All right, so he clamps hands with you. This the Firm form. handshake. Yeah, four of us were, but uh, they're, a, they're a great crew. What are, you, uh, what are you looking to get done? This place safe? Safe as. Yeah. Beanie, you want to give us some privacy? Um, sure. Go take a look and make sure we're still vaguely secure. All right. Do you want to do a check to make sure that there's no bugs or anything around here? Yeah, I'm going to do that. So pop down the old AR goggles and go do some looking around. Okay. All right, so for this, this is our I'm also curious about what, what they have on them for, for digital thingies. Yeah, fair enough. So how do we do this? So we go to net running, right, at this point? Yeah, so right now I'm using an interface ability, which is actually a meet action, so something I'm doing in real life, which is just probably scanner. Okay. So I would roll a d10 plus, plus my interface. interfacing yep. ability, which is only four. We're, we're small beans, and I rolled a one, so I botched. Okay, uh, so the room is clean. You get to roll again. Yeah, roll again and Room subtract. Clean? Yeah. Roll again and subtract. Wait, to roll again and subtract, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fumbles. how critical work. Yeah. Critical fumbles. Yeah. So I have a negative one. <laughs> okay, so a negative okay. one means you do botch, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, negative one means that you were going to do just a quick sweep, and uh, the room's clear, there's no bugs here, but as you look up uh, and try to do a scan over Hornet and his solo, uh, your VR is going to glitch and go into cooldown mode for five minutes. Ah, uh, freaking updates. I hate this. Ugh. Hang on a minute. I'm just gonna... We're probably Say this really out loud. Cyberdeck here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of quirk an eyebrow in, uh, in Beanie's direction. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock right now. I don't got time for this shit. You want to do this? We talk now. Yeah. All right, let's talk. I got a little problem. I was hoping that you could solve it. Yeah. I have a job it? for you. It's got eddies, but it's got risks. What doesn't? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. That's why I like you. That's why I like you, and I see you climbing up. Boy, I see, you see, you see me? I'm you in 20 years. 
Hell, 10 if you grease them wheels. What do you got for us? I have a shipment. The Red Chrome Legion. Lifted it off me. Four DNA-encoded locked crates. All right. I'm paying you uh, to get them back. Well, do I know anything about the Red Chrome Legion? Why don't you go ahead? Anybody here can make me a streetwise roll. And those of you who know Cyberpunk, if I am doing any part of these rules wrong, this is a beta session, so let me know. Uh, I pulled a 20. Damn, son! That's what I do. I got a 16. Oh, these guys are the f these guys are the perfect game characters to run. 16? Yeah, you'll know them. Yeah, cool. Oh my god, I didn't... All right, what was the rule for this? It's not local expert, it's... Streetwise. Streetwise, oh, streetwise. right, streetwise. yeah, no. Let, I got a two, I'm not even paying attention. You're not even paying attention? Your beer's kind of flat. Oh, I have a 12, that's yeah. not bad. 12? Okay. So, for, for um, me, that's pretty good. you don't know... Uh, what you know is that they are a bunch of uniformed shitheads. Real gongs. Like everyone else? No, 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 no. like actually uniformed. Yeah. Like these guys wear a uniform wherever they go. Uh, the reason that uh, they do this, you might not be aware of, but I'm gonna say that given, uh, given your your like the way that Beanie kind of exists, uh, you know that they are a, they're a hate gang. Um, right. Uh, Ramon and Rain, with your roles, you are going to know that the Red Chrome Legion is a neo-fascist hate gang. Uh, young oh. people. Yep. They're young people united around various hate group ideologies. Uh, uniforms and militaristic slogans are their rules. The Red Chromers will attack anything they think isn't right. Ah, oh, those asshats. All right. Yeah, those asshats. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're not going to have any complications. Uh, <laughs> we'll, be, uh, we'll be glad to do them some damage. Mm -hmm. Here's sure. what I need from you. They've got a facility outside of the city. They're transporting these tonight via the Hammerhead. The Hammerhead, just so that you know, is a military transport train. Okay. I need you to get inside. I need you to get my crates. Any other shit you find in there, that's keepers. All right. I think we can probably, uh, probably be pretty happy with that. Uh, Anything we should know about these uh, crates you want us to pick up? Don't Volatile or anything like that? Treat them with respect. We won't pop them open, but I just want to know if there's no bullets that go into them. I mean, we'll avoid it, but... Treat them well. The prize property. Okay. I can't stitch them up. You can stitch yourselves up. Don't use them for cover. Don't use them for landing strips. <laughs> Handle with care. Handle with care, please. Mm. Now, does this sound like an amicable proposition? Well, that would depend on the price. What, what? are you offering for this? Fifteen. Hundred. Each. Uh, it's in these yeah, I'm in. Fuck those guys. Uh, Ramon, would you like to negotiate this up? Uh, yeah, let's negotiate this one. <laughs> that sounds good. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I can... Uh, I don't have the um, operator level to a high enough where I can actually, like, alter the price of these things. So, with that ability, I can do, like, plus or negative 10% on most things. Sure. Um, I mean, you can just, you can just yeah. negotiate with me as a role-playing thing, too. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. Uh, okay. So, I'll come back with... Uh, 2,000. <laughs> Look at the cojones on you. 2,000. Hey, you want him bad said... enough? Sorry, did he just agree to 2,000? I, uh, there's a... No, no, he just, he said you had big balls. Oh, well, you want them bad enough. In Spanish, no less, so. Oh, nice, yes. Yeah, hey, James, time to learn some Spanish. Cojones. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos dias, Señor Cajones. Let's start with El Pollo. Just for the chat, I do not speak pantalones. a word of Spanish, so my love. <laughs> That's not true. You you, you know Chipotle <laughs> or Chipotle. All right. Mucho Cajones, el loco perro, the crazy dog with the giant balls. There we go. Um, look at you. Hmm. 
And Rain, you added in what? You want them bad enough. What's a few more eddies? <laughs> Tell you what. I'd planned for you to have a crew of five, but four is what you got. So my budget's a little over. You bring them back, not so much as more than a scratch on them. Two thousand? Hell, I can give you two thousand eddies. Sure. I'll treat them like my favorite vodka. I don't follow. Yeah, is, is there anything else to that? <laughs> Oh, oh, carefully. She has it, like, locked in a cabinet. I'm not even allowed it. It's the worst. Mm. It looks so good, too. Wow. All right. So 2,000, 2,000 pristine, 1,500 if they're dinged up. And if they're broken, you get shit. That's fair. If we don't get paid, you get more shit. Like, we're risking our necks here. We better get something out of this deal. If you fuck up... What do you think you deserve if you don't get me what I'm paying you for? 10%, just for the risk. Well, can you go ahead and give me a roll? I want you to, you know what? We're going to do a mechanic inside of this game that I love. This book is dense, by the way. Anybody who's looking to run this game, there's a lot to learn about it. There's a lot of reading. Like, like I just want to point this out. Like, this is just my, my basic tabbing on this game to try to, like, survive stuff. Uh, so, Mike, I want Vale to give me a... Where is it? Was a... Is the stare-down thing? This is the stare-down mechanic. I can't... Yeah. Uh, that's such a cool mechanic. It's such a neat mechanic. Uh, oh, it's the non-combat it, it, combat. It's... it's I think like it's cool, a D... Yeah, cool yeah, plus sure. reputation plus die 10. Yeah. Is that what it is? Okay. Plus die 10? Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, so, but we start with zero... We start with zero You rep, have so. no rep. You have no rep. All right. <laughs> so... I, I did roll a nine. So I rolled a 15. three, so I'm assuming this guy has a cool of probably five. Player plays a rec rep of three, so I've got what's your total? Fifteen. Okay, you actually are going to get a bit of a stare down on him, and I'll be like up front. Got to pay for ammunition. And fluid leaks. And beer. You know what? Tell you what. 10%. You waste some of those fucking gonks. I will be happy to pay 10% to put some of those hate mongers out of business. Now uh, that's what I call doing business. Uh, Ramon, you're going to get a ping that says there's a wire transfer for... Uh, uh, so that would be 8,000 if you guys succeeded. So you are going to get 800 transferred to you hey, immediately. Sounds good. Uh, and, for, uh, and for anybody who uh -huh. wants to, I think it's a good idea to keep a tab open with uh, all of the cyberpunk slang. Because also mm. Gibson is actually a name. <laughs> a yeah. Gibson, strong oh, yeah. foresight, a prophet, someone who tells the future, a psychic. He's a real Gibson. Mm. So, I thought you might like that, James. Yeah. All right. Also, a, it's also a street in, in Night City, too. Yep. Of course it is. Of course it is. All right. So, you'll have that transferred over to you. All right. Uh, I'll ping the other ones, letting them know that uh, that I got the uh, I got the I got the pre cash. Okay. All right. Good. All right. What de what details can you give us about this thing? Where? When? And with that, he will outlay uh, outlay the idea. So the shipment is being transported to a Red Chrome Legion uh, facility outside of the city via the Hammerhead, a heavily armored Militech cargo train the gang has hijacked. Uh, there are no details as to what awaits you inside of the train, but hell, 2,000 eddies apiece is quite a haul. It can't be that bad. And that's the premise for the game session. So hey. Uh, mm. And then all the stuff... Uh, so... Um, Currently, uh, it's headed to an abandoned town on the outskirts of uh, North Knight City, uh, where a tech employed by the Red Chrome Legion can break its locks. Her Hornet arranges for passage on uh, for the passage for you aboard his own train, uh, which will run parallel to the Red Cl Chrome Legion's locomotive. As they pull close, uh, you're going to have to hop on. Okay. 
because All right, then. I, I was like, I, I was going to, guys, just add a character real quick. I was going to build my own game session for the first one, and then I saw they had a train heist, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm like, it's got to be the train heist. Train Sold. heist. Yeah. All right. That sounds fantastic. Let's do it. All right. And, uh, okay, so uh, anything, any prep you're doing beforehand? Oh, uh, okay, so we got 800. Uh, is there any particular pieces of equipment or anything like that we think we need to acquire for this? I mean, we have a car, right? That's how are we going to uh, catch a train? Yeah, well, we need something to haul the stuff out of there, so it, maybe it might be a good idea to, like, hire a nomad or uh, yeah. uh, or arrange for a car. Uh, so they can be carried. These are large enough that we can, can be carried, but if they take two hands, you'll know okay. that in advance. Yeah, we got to... And then Do you, you can't exactly breaks? run that back to Night City. <laughs> no, you have to get them and throw them back onto the other train. Oh, okay. That's so nice. basically you're doing a parallel train rod where you have to jump on, go through the cars, grab the shit, and then toss it back and not die. Okay. Right. Um, How many crates are there? Four. Four crates. Okay. Plus whatever else you find. Yeah. All right, I might suggest getting ourselves some hand grenades. That might be a, a valuable investment. Uh, yeah. Okay. I've always liked that gas thing that you have, Rain. Meanie yeah. will pull out her, her gas mask. It's just nice. It's a good combo. The tear gas Lots grenades? Lots of people have lungs. Yeah, well, they work great. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has, uh, has the nasal filter implants, so... Yeah. So, with 800, if you were going to look to buy some grenades, <coughs> uh, and you all have armor, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. uh, I sent it to the chat mm -hmm. earlier, just so that you know, but they upgraded the auto-fire rules for machine guns and submachine guns. So, they're actually much more difficult to fire, um, and those are the values we're using. Uh, but I, I don't think, do any of you have submachine guns? No. I have a <laughs> rifle. Cool. Oh, do you? Damn straight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. And I'm just trying to find the grenades where they are for sale. Grenades for sale. Ooh, a flamethrower. Well, they would probably be in the night market. Ooh. Uh, Hang on, Ramon. I'm rev I'm revising my my previous sentence. We need a flamethrower. They're only five hundred. <laughs> no, that oh, that that is, that is an option. Uh. <laughs> Yes, I have an assault rifle. The girl nice. who doesn't like f to fight wants a flamethrower. Yeah, I'm not going to use it. Someone else can use it. I just want to see what happens. Fair statement. Okay. You guys finding the grenades anywhere? Looking around for them. Grenades, grapple gun. Grappling gun. I have one of those. It's great. I think it's a certain ammunition. Is it under ammunition? Probably. Hmm. Let's see if this book actually has an index. That's what sort the find of. features for. In yeah, yeah. So you just buy them. You buy them as ammunition. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just like I think you can buy them as like throwable or launchable via grenade launcher. I think. Okay. So hmm. Seems like I just might... want to get some. Exp Explosive ones, so. Explosive yeah, rules of, are uh, 174. Yeah, cool. what kind of grenades? Okay, so. Explosives. On 174? Oh, yeah, they're there. Damage equal to. And we're not going to use maps because mine's eye is way better. Mm. Yeah. Uh, also, the rules for combat in this game are super, super relaxed. Uh, one thing before we go into this, just so you guys know, the golden rule of cover is my favorite rule on cover I've ever seen in a role-playing game. Yeah. The way that it works is, are you in cover? Yes or no? Yeah. There is yeah. no partial cover. If I can see you, you're not in cover. If I can shoot you, you're not exactly. in cover. Yeah. And right. then uh, there's two types of cover. There's thick and thin cover. Uh, thick cover can't be moved with less than body 10 because it's literally like a cargo crate or a cargo container, like a shipping container. Uh, thin cover can be carried with both hands and moved with you, like carrying a sofa. So you got some cool options, actually. The game's interesting. We'll find out how it works with smart weapons. 
Okay, so uh, if you wanted to grab some grenades, the time is pretty quick. I'm not finding them. Did you find the exact page for them? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where, so where um, it's so uh, 344. Oh, wow. So they are ammunition. Grenade ammunition can be either thrown or loaded into a grenade mm -hmm. launcher. So you just basically buy them as ammunition. Okay, so 344. Um, so a basic grenade only costs 10? Yeah. Grenades are cheap. Wow. Mm, yeah. that, I don't know if that's the case. It's a little sidebar. Uh, it's a little sidebar thing on 344. Grenades and rockets are purchased individually. Um... Basic ammunition, uh, all except grenades and rockets. Under basic. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we have to buy them as one of the special. You parts. have to okay. buy them. They're probably incendiary. Uh, yes. Yeah, or like flashbang ammunition, which is a hundred, or. Or EMP. You can't afford those. Yeah. Yeah. So grenades, explosive or incendiary. Oh, it's expansive. Expansive. It's the expansive ones. Those are arrows, bullets, and slugs. Oh, yeah, sorry, you're right. Yeah, sorry, not grenades. So uh, you're looking for either armor piercing or um, incendiary. I'll go with armor piercing. All right, so it says all except for shotgun shells. Yeah. So go ahead and rem right. remember that that is the rule you're using. So you ablate armor by two instead of one. I also believe there is a typo on the armor page um, because the way that it says it is um, when you... So if I shoot Beanie... Um, her armor absorbs a certain amount of it, and then any yes. remaining goes straight in. Um, yeah. Yeah. The way the book writes it is that if I deal damage to Beanie, the armor rating goes down by one, but it seems like it's saying that only in that case, even though it's vaguely written as if it goes down in both cases. Uh, the wording is looking strange. At some, I was looking at some stuff earlier, and, it w and uh, just from some people doing like kind of some, how, some, how some of the system works mm -hmm. and if it if it doesn't do damage it, it, as far as i understand it if it doesn't do damage it doesn't reduce armor okay so that's what like, we're running for right 11 you take 10 damage you don't even care if it's 11 damage and you take and you take some then your armor goes down okay. by one that yeah. works for me and melee weapons are really good at bringing down there. okay cool yeah all right, guys, so uh, you are going to be able to put a little bit of your fixer magic to the test uh, and you'll be able to buy i'll, I'll buy you can buy oh, four sorry. Uh, can I buy five with my fixer? You will. You have to roll it, to see if you have enough time to pull five together. Okay. So go ahead. Because that is one of my fixer abilities. Yep. Is I get four instead of five. I get five instead of four. Oh, is it really? Is that yeah. just? So do you have to roll for that, it's, or is it just it's auto? My, it's my haggle ability. I don't think I have to roll for it. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, nice. I got it over here. Nice. Okay. It's just kind of something I do. Cool. Let's go uh, ahead and do. Uh, and do it then. When? Ha oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's fixer deal. Uh, do, do, do. Ah. I'm really looking forward to the episode where you guys go on TV. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm flipping through the rolls. They're pretty great. Uh, fixer. What the hell page is the fixer just on? spend the whole game doing this. And yeah, I'm just like, about, uh, it's uh, page 159. Okay. So... Oh, okay. When we buy five or more of the same item, we get one more for free. Never mind. Mm, you can go ahead and make uh, me, and make me have, a cool, a cool plus the trading. Roll. Yeah. Oops, modifier on that one. It's your cool plus trading skill plus operator rank. Yep. Yeah, I'm just in the wrong window. Uh, so I got a roll to seven, and I've got my operator rank is four, and my cool is seven, so that's eleven. That's eighteen. And your trading skill? Uh, my trading skill is another four, so that's twenty-two. Okay, and that's against mine. Okay, so uh, yeah, you you get uh, six out of this. You have to pay for five. All right, cool. Okay. All right, so um, you are going to vanish off to the nearest night market, which is this little seedy underbelly next to, uh, if you've played Cyberpunk 2077, this is where all the, the Tiger Claws hang out next to the hotel in that little underground night market. Uh, which, uh, So you will head down a set of stairs that form a T section at the bottom and branch out into this very kind of um, street market type of, type of place where there's a noodle cart 
directly in front of you, uh, guy behind the counter, you know him pretty well. And he'll wave to you as you pass by and go back to talking with some of his customers. Uh, in the distance, you can see some joy toys hanging outside of, uh, of a hotel trying to bring you over. One of them leans in and kind of flexes his uh, augmented pectoral muscles. Hey, handsome. You want to ride a real stallion? <laughs> I'll think about it. Maybe later, maybe later. I'll buck your bronco, baby. <laughs> and he turns around. You can see that he's got cybered pants with the ass cut out. He's got some he's got some cake. He's got cyber cake. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just picturing them wiggling now. They are, they are, they're they're, <laughs> they're hydraulic <laughs> ass cheeks. <laughs> He can set it on twerk. It's just like a washing machine setting for his ass. I don't twerk. Nice. All right. Okay, no, I just, I just, I just, like, things to talk about to the doctor. Cyberpunk wiggling butt, how to acquire. <laughs> Cyber cake, TM. Mm. An Arasaka. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you will go and haggle with, um, with this, uh, oh, Kel, what was the name of the character mm. from the Avatar game? Mrs. L Mrs. Ling, Mrs. Ping, Mrs. Ooh. Ping. So is this Mr. Ping? This is Mrs. Ping. It's oh, Mrs. Ping it's, again? It's AU, Mrs. Ping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this old, 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 like older than time. It would not time, surprise me that she's still around. Like Asian woman who appears to have been the archetype for the old crone will negotiate with you, and uh, will send you away in the end. Um, you're not sure if you got a good deal, but you also have like three like pieces of dim sum. Yeah, hey. that sounds about right. <laughs> like it's that's, like that, that's a good catch. It's cool. not bad. It's She's synthetic. a hard bargainer, but she feeds you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mrs. Le Mrs. Ping exists. Mrs. Ping, <laughs> I I love Mrs. Ping. You're all skin and bones. She said, "Get out of here! Take these grenades! <laughs> Don't blow your legs <laughs> off like last time." <laughs> Not you. Remember the difference between the grenades that, that and, and the me. dumplings. No, it was Johnny, and she'll point over in the corner where's this guy in a wheelchair just looking sad at his stumped legs. <laughs> I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the replacements. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Johnny. Uh, best of luck. God damn, Johnny. John, Johnny no legs. Damn it, okay. Johnny. Johnny no legs. It's funny because he's an idiot. All right, John, he's gonna come back. All right, so uh, you will return. You'll come back with Johnny Four Legs. Johnny Four Legs. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, nice. Goes 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 you full servo that. after this. It's like the tank that... treads almost. To be four legged <laughs> is to be forewarned. Mm -hmm. All right. So, is anyone else doing anything to prep for this? Uh, Beanie, you're gonna get your cyber deck working again. The updates are there. It was that damn um, macro hard doors update. I hate mm. that thing. Macro hard. And then, and then my yeah. like my OS license was going to expire again, like it does every week. Yeah, and then you had to buy buy MH Orifice because mm. your student account expired right in the middle of writing yeah. your new book. This is the worst. <laughs> it made it really difficult to manage my Orifices. Yeah, yeah, that didn't happen to me just last week, like two days no. ago, in the middle of writing <laughs> my damn book, and suddenly my my office expires. I'm like, oh come on. It's like 70 bucks. All right. Um, mm. All right. So, so anybody else doing anything or are you going to get ahead and uh, time to start the uh, start the mission? I did nudge my camera. I mean, actually, I think Beanie might go attempt to get one tear gas grenade just to have one. Okay. Sure. They're, uh, they're worth having. Beanie, tear gas grenades are, what's the value on that? It was 409, right? 413. I think they're 50. I just need to check because you can't buy anything that's premium without uh, mm -hmm. without Ramon. Like literally, he's your personal shopper. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I, actually, it's expensive. I don't think I can do premium until I get an upgrade. Really? I think they're probably yeah. Just, oh, you, I, yeah. They're probably just expensive. You know what? You expensive can buy. Expensive, I can source. I'm gonna say you can get one. I okay. have, I have Do I need to roll trading to, to try to make this happen? Because this is going to be the worst roll. Uh, yes, you can. And then I'll tell you how much they cost. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Oh, hey, I got a 15. Cool. They cost market value. Oh my god, that's so much cheaper than last time. I love this store. So that's going to be 50 eddies for the smoke yeah, grenade. Yeah, I'm basically broke now, but I have a tear grenade, so that's pretty cool. Oh, you say tier? Yeah, the tear gas, tear one. gas grenade. Was that 50 or 100? Sorry, I thought you said smoke. It was still 50. It was still 50? Then it's done. 50, yeah. All right. Whoa, there's a, there's a chart for buying sex toys. I just flipped past it. Okay. Of course there is. All right. Ooh. Good, 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 good. Macro hard doors with a try hard expansion. Oh, God. I hate the try hard expansion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay. Rain's, get... Rain wants to pick up a, a heavy pistol. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Heavy pistol. Not a problem at all. Yeah. So. Heading down to the market. Uh, I'll say you're all shopping together. So, do you have just yeah. a you have a pistol? I have a pistol, and I have um, ability for a very heavy pistol as well. So I don't see very heavy pistol listed. I only see pistol SMG. Yeah, it's a it's a separate one. Oh, it's it's there. It's there. It's mm -hmm. um. Yeah. Uh, it's it's probably under the weapon section. Um, the yeah, the only problem. Like, I run yeah. to start with one. The only problem that I have with this book is that it doubles up on your on the like the graphs are doubled yeah. in many places, yeah. but they're slightly different. Like mm -hmm. the um, the damage and critical section is a different chart than the healing and critical section. Yeah, but yeah. It, it feels like it could have been crammed together. So it does get mm -hmm. a little hard to navigate at times. Uh, if you can look it up for me and give me a page number, that'd be great because you guys yeah, have... um, yeah. 348. 348, cool. And I oh, really appreciate that we can is do the, that now. The chart, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, and no beanie, I do not want a flamethrower. I know it is uh, option, but they're expensive. Oh, I can get okay. I can oh, Okay, expensive is higher yeah, than I'm premium. glad you're okay. getting your own pistols. You're not using old reliable. It's a <laughs> hundred. Pistol ever. So, uh, yeah. they're. Sorry, where did you find that? Uh, just on the basic. Uh, 94 would do it in the PDF. Uh, oh, sorry, if, uh, if you're looking at PDF. See, this is the thing. Someone just quoted me 340. And then 94 also has it. So this is confusing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I'm just looking at the one that was for the, it's kind of like the character quick grab one. Yeah. It's okay. the same chart, but cool. it's only 100. I'm going to tab this. Okay, cool. So you can get, and is that a very heavy pistol or a heavy pistol? Very heavy pistol. Okay. So uh, quick I note, have... the very heavy pistol cannot be concealed. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to, <laughs> okay. yeah, we're going to town with the If that with works the, for you. Cool. So yeah. you can buy a very heavy pistol. It is going to be a... Ooh. Let's look this up. So I guess we have of the startup money we had. We got five hundred. Sorry, we had three hundred left. Okay. And you're buying a very heavy pistol out of this, so that's going down to two hundred. And then your thing was fifty, so we got uh, one hundred and fifty left. Okay. Cal, roll me a d10. Okay. Two. Two, you're going to get an Ameritech Magnum. Yes. Uh, it's a modified version that has as many slots are in the basic very heavy pistol. Uh, and okay. we'll use its stats, but I'm just letting you know what model you're using. So it's basically going to be, uh, I think, an eight-chambered Magnum, I think, is how many shots yeah. you have on the very heavy. Uh, anybody else who wants mm -hmm. to know what kind of gun they have can go ahead and just give me a roll on a D10 and tell me what type of gun it is. Sure. Um, I have a name for mine, but it might be from Cyberpunk 2022. I'm, I'm so using let's, the 2021. So. Oh, okay. Then I have a Federal Arms 454, if that's nice. on the chart. You have a 455. Ooh, I'll upgrade that. Up so fancy. Anybody else who just wants a name for their gun, go ahead and let me know. I've already got mine. Cool. Do you need one, Mike, or are you good? No, I've of course I've got are. backstories for my weapons. Okay, yeah, because you're a huge <laughs> nerd. All right. Where where is this one, Kelly? The Ameritech Magnum? Oh, I just googled. I just googled. Oh, like, okay. Like names of yeah, the guns you, in Cyberpunk. Gotcha. Do you need the stats? No, no, yes. no. She's just using the basic one. Okay. Oh yeah, no, I meant the stats for that. Oh yeah, yes, please, one. please provide. Yeah. Uh, forty-six damage. Um, eight rounds. Rate of fire one. Hands required one, cannot be concealed. I love it. Yeah, basically got yourself a deagle. Yeah. I love beagles. Okay, and I need ammo for that too. Oh, oh. right. 
Uh, so basic ammo uh, will cost you 10 for 10 rounds. 10 for 10 rounds. For just the I basic, like, basic ammo. You cannot yep. mix ammo types in a clip, according to the rules. No. Um, I better get 50 rounds. Okay, so that's going to be 50 eddies. Okay. Okay. All right, so you spend right. some time going okay. out and shopping and uh, having a good old time in the night market. And with that, you are ready to get it done. The city around you is dark and oppressive. It's, it's full of people, almost as packed as your nightclub. And as you are wandering around, your cyber eyes which of you have cyber eyes, real quick? Just a reminder. Okay. I've got two. So, Ramon, your cyber eyes are going to pick up the bulge of every hidden weapon around you as uh, a coat flaps open, as the rain buffets down and outlines the shape of, of a Militech revolver in someone's back pocket. Vale, you're going to get a sense of this as well, just kind of looking around and seeing that everyone here is strapped cybered and worse for wear on the corner of the street a man dressed in rags bare feet bleeding on the blistering broken glass covered concrete is going to shout out at you hey you hey 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 you with the red hair they're putting fire in our veins they're putting fire in our veins and we don't even know it they do it when we're sleeping. They do it when we're watching the television. Don't let them get inside of you. They'll burn you out from within, hollow you out, and make you into a canoe. Yeah, I've been in a canoe for at least half an hour now. It's awesome. I'm gonna just gonna float this way, okay? You, you stay crispy. Don't let them burn you. So crispy. All right. This is why you don't watch TV. And with that, are you ready for your mission? Yes oh, and no. Thing. Okay. Yeah, let's go. At the appointed time, a large van pulls up. It's decked out, sleek, and as the doors open and slide along raised tracks on the outer seams, you'll see that Hornet is inside. Good. I was wondering if it would take you very long. I think you actually had a schedule. The train is ready mm -hmm. to depart. Choo choo. We do try to be efficient. All aboard. And we clamor aboard. All right. I guess we should get organized and put our armor on, shouldn't we? You're not wearing your armor? Well, no. I have a whole suit for it. It takes me just. Oh. Beanie, you should be in it, like Hang all on. the time. Like, do you have any idea how crazy it is out there? Sometimes. Do you know how uncomfortable I, this thing is? I can't wear it all the time. There's so much change. I thing. live in mine. Hey, bickering ends. This is job. Hmm. Let's just get ready. You guys are like a family, ain't you? Yeah, big, very happy, functional, dysfunctional one. extremely functional, like a well-oiled machine. Hmm. Yeah, you were a nomad once, weren't you, Hornet? No, I don't know. No, I grew up in the city. Oh, okay. Mm. My backyard. <laughs> Can't you see? Look, there's a tree I used to play on. He points at a corpo building that looms into the clouds overhead. <laughs> and that's Lover's Lane. Got my first hand mm. job down there. He gestures down oh, that's to so romantic. Uh, to where you will see a bunch of uh, Night City PD like um, digitally outlining a corpse on the sidewalk. Mm. It looks like a suicide drop special yeah those are the days mm. place has changed in the past 30 years yeah shit right or worse i don't know you were around here yeah yeah i was how old are you were you here old when enough. uh were you here when arasaka split when the nuke went off yeah, yeah. were you actually does that time work out? Um, Cause did when, you... when did 
When did the, when did the uh, the nuke go? The nuke is in the 30s. Um, um no, 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 no. She's not that old. Okay, um, so it was right afterwards. Yeah, it was after. Small. Yeah. So What did what did we Does figure out she was born? Baby? Uh she was born 2031. Thirty-one. Ooh, you, yeah, you yeah, 31, might have 2031. actually. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, you would have been in diapers. You would have been like in diapers, right but you would have been here. Time. So what? What the year did the yep. bomb go off? I don't know. Let me check the timeline real quick. Time of the red. Oh, I love that there's just like a quick timeline that I can just like Google. I know. You're, like running role playing games even ten years ago was not like this. Can you imagine running Cyberpunk in the eighties? No. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> was it? Was it? Okay, uh, I'll oh, ask you about August, this during our break. Uh, August twentieth, twenty twenty three. Ah, damn. It was oh, I am just outside of that. So no, no, you ain't old yeah. enough for that. No, no. Shit, I ain't old enough for that either. No. But, but I, I grew up in the uh, in the dust. Hmm. I wish you luck, and a prosperous relationship for us. Same. Hmm. That club's a piece of work you got. Uh, it gets me, Gail. Gets me by. It's a good idea, but it's... Uh, what I hear on the street is it's hanging by a thread. Isn't everything, though. It's true. Mm. But I prefer not to have... Uh, but my hand and mouth dictated by something on a thread. Yeah, I agree, but it's mine. Hmm. No corpus. Yeah, I give it some time. I just started. I like. I just started helping out. Let me see what I can do with it. Maybe. Yeah. I have an idea. Potentially, you prove it well tonight. I could get some other jobs for you. Yeah. And I noticed you got a big section at the back of the club. Just seating. Mm -hmm. Fox seating. I can get a Vendo in there, or maybe even one of my boys to go in there. And then you can actually have someone peddling Dorf. Technically oh. not illegal. I don't care about illegal. <laughs> you let us set up. You take a cut. Your club goers have more fun. We won't even sell anything that fucks with your alcohol sales. Or your synthahol sales. Hmm, I think we should have a conversation after this. Absolutely. Hmm. I look forward to business. The driver lowers a, a panel into the front seat. <laughs> And you can see that Fox is sitting in the passenger side seat at the front, and uh, uh, a tall, um, a tall man with uh, very kind of uh, dark brown skin and like kind of like a cybered out scalp that's been shaved down, uh, with numerous panels and wires, is going to turn and look in the rearview mirror. We're almost at the train. Wow. Then mm -hmm. let the games begin. And I think we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be mm -hmm. right back after these words from no one because it's literally just a break. So, <laughs> right. our sponsors, time. Our, no sponsors our, today. No sponsors, except on YouTube where I always put the ad break right there to be fair to people. All right, so we'll be right back. Back to cyberpunk, Chumbas. All right. So, as you uh, as you board on to the Hornets train, right, let's get some train music here. So, uh, for those of you tuning back in, not Star Freighter, not In the Shadows, not Testing Chamber. I had it. It's right here. Where the hell is? Oh, here we go. All right. Let's cut back here instead. Welcome back to cyberpunk, Chumbas. As you hop aboard the train, 
it begins to speed up along the old, yet fairly maintained tracks that cross through and around Night City, carrying its industrial cargo. You can hear the sound of sirens in the distance as the city leaves you. We're going to be approaching soon, Hornet says. Get yourself ready. Mm-hmm. Right. Remember. Beanie's going to get her AR set on and basically take off her outer clothes. Her armor underneath is just like a slick black cat suit that even covers her head. Nice. Hmm. Remember, if you don't make it back, I didn't, uh, I didn't hire you. But if you oh, do make like it back, on. who would hire us? Some gonk. <laughs> Best of luck. And here's to a uh, hopefully fruitful friendship. The door will hiss open, and you will see that the train is hurtling. Just breakneck speed, 50 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, several times that in kilometers. It's very hard to tell. But you are pulling alongside a militarized train. Choke, 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 choke. I've got the sound. I don't actually need to make that noise, but I want to. Choke, 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 choke. All right. You begin to pull close. Hornet's train comes within a few feet of the Legion's train. Good luck! It's go time! Runners. Cheerio. <laughs> All right, so anybody who's jumping across, I need you to make me an athletics roll. Okay? And uh, so I'm just going to tell you the difficulty right now. I need a, I need a DV 13. Okay, I have a 17. 17? All right. Uh, so are you the one who's jumping first? Oh yeah. Okay. She's a so, all right. So Beanie is going to just leg it and hurl herself across the divide, boom, landing on the other side of the train car. Uh, you're at the rear train car as you pull up, um, and you're basically on that little loading platform at the back. You know, the little walkway that enters into the actual train car itself. Uh, you are going to land with a clang fairly quiet one, there's not much to you, and are immediately going to scramble forward to avoid the flying bodies behind you. Uh, who's next? I uh, think me, uh, 20. All right, with nary a thought, you are going to hurl yourself across the, um, probably about a 10 foot gap at this point. As, <sighs> uh, as you do so, you will see a plume of dust rise up and uh, what looks like some type of no, never mind. Birds don't exist. Uh, so some type of large rat squeaks up at you in alarm. Before I'll just it hurt. kick him off the train. All right. Ah! It squeaks, hits the ground, and <laughs> splats underneath Man. the treads of the hornet's train. Who's next? Sorry, dude. Uh, I'll go next. Uh, I got uh, thirteen exactly. Thirteen exactly. All right. So you are going to jump, and you're going to land with both feet at the same time, clang, and are going to start like pinwheeling back a tiny bit before you catch ooh, yourself ooh. on the railing. <laughs> Is anybody going to help oh. him up, or just he let him do himself? Oh, yeah, I'll give him a hand. Yeah, we'll give him I'll a hand. I'll look real smug yeah. while I do it. Yoink. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I was going to do a shoulder tackle, but... Okay, Vale, what do you just got? hit me from behind. What do you got, Vale? <laughs> uh, six, 16. 16? All right, so you are going to basically, like, like, um, like long jump it, like an Olympiad, you know, like the ones from the books. Uh, and are going to land on the other side with a clang. All right. So, with that, you are clinging to the back. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, so, uh, quick, quick edit for, because I misread the scenario. Uh, so, you are on okay. top of the train. So, you have leapt from the top of one train to the top of another. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so you. Okay, is there a hatch we can there hop is a, into? There is a hatch nearby. Now this long okay. armored train. Actually, let's see. Is there a an image that we can find for this? Uh, cyberpunk hammerhead 
think um, before we would open a hatch, there there is a small thing Beanie would like to do. Okay. Yes. Beanie can do mm-hmm. her stuff. And it's probably, oh, wait, it should uh, almost certainly be locked, so you'll probably have to clear that too, right? Mm-hmm. Well, two things. Okay. Yeah. There is not a hammerhead train, but, oh, I do have the map for the inside of this. So I know, ooh, that's really useful, actually, guys. Uh, you do not know the schematics, but the chat can totally see the inside of this. Ooh. There you go, chat. You can see what the inside is. Fine. Uh, created by Secret somebody. schematics. Secret schematics. So fancy. I will use the power of narrative voice. <gasps> All right. I do uh, like uh, narrative voice. You are the back of this Perfect. mag train as it's clinging, shuddering as it begins to rip across North Night City. You're hitting the Badlands at this point, stretching out onto the the dusty remnants of what was once probably some type of ecosystem. Is that how you pronounce it? You live in a cyber. I, I believe it's pronounced ecosystem. Oh, ecosystem. It's French. Sorry. I don't know. It's an old word. No one says it anymore. Nobody says it anymore. Mm. Okay. Once aboard, yeah. uh, ahead of you, there's a maintenance a maintenance hatch at the top of the rear car. Someone will need. So almost to- um, the the moment she lands, Beanie's gonna touch the top of the train and use her tactile boost to get a sense of movement within a, a twenty meter radius. Okay, does that see work? See if you can see anyone scrambling okay. rapidly. Does I don't that know work? how well it works on a moving train. Does it work through the train? Uh, it does, as long as it's like a connected surface, so you can like touch the side of a building and get an idea for movement. Within okay, an area so do you have to roll you. for that, or does it just work? I assume I have to roll perception. Okay, but it allows you to do it. Yeah, essentially. Okay, so I think it's probably a simple one. Yeah, so perception of 14. Uh, all right. You are going to be able to feel that there are two people uh, inside of this train. Uh, one of which At least is... within like a super close radius. They are, one of them is directly beneath you and another one is scrambling and you are going to feel the vibration of a shotgun being cocked. Um. I'm gonna whisper. They heard us. Okay. Um, and we're on. <laughs> trying to sneak to a different spot on the top of the train. That is the only maintenance hatch. Uh, I'll, I'll probably well, like I'll, I'll probably kind of gesture to the hand to the hand grenade like clip to my clip to my vest. Tear gas. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, tear him. We don't know where the we don't know where the crates are. Yeah. All right, Vale, you and me are gonna do- drop in, drop down in there, and then we'll just deal with these guys. All right. So, I need somebody to open this hatch. Who has tech? I have some tech. Uh, tech. Okay. This is actually gonna if be it's a- digital. It is not. This is a tech roll. Oh God. Yeah. Analog. I, I have six. <laughs> She's gonna try to open it. She's you got a, an, an okay it, roll. Basic on this. tech. Basic. Is this basic tech? This is tech. Oh, I got mm. four. I got seven. I'll hit it with a rock. I have seven. I'll open the damn hatch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, go for it. Okay. So, uh, okay. they, uh, pardon me, Rain, as you head up to it, uh, go ahead and make me yeah. a tech roll. So, it is going to be a d10 plus your. Yeah. Plus my tech. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 15. 15. All right. Um, after messing around with it for a moment, you'll slide some of the diodes and like punch into the system. And well, not really. That there's much of that. You will uh, bypass a couple, a little bit of the circuitry, and mm-hmm. and the hatch will unlock. And can I get an initiative roll off of everybody? Initiative roll is a D10 plus your reflex. Yeah. Um, plus, I'm using my solo ability. I can boost that by three more points. Nice. And I. Do have an implant which can boost my uh, my initiative on the first round, but I can only do that once per hour. So I'm going to use it right now. Okay, go okay. ahead. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the initiative down. Who has above twenty? Above fifteen. Oh, I got a twelve. I, wait, I got above twenty. Okay. Yeah. So uh, hang on. I got because I rolled a ten plus a three. So okay. I'm at 13, nice. uh, 23, so 27. Okay, so Vale, you're definitely going first. Who got above 15? 13. 14. I got 14. Okay, that's not the way math works. James, sorry about that. Um, but, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. No, 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 no. Oh. I, I did the numbers I got in 12. 
That was me, that was me, not you. Okay. I'm 11. <laughs> okay, Ramon, what is your reflex score, Millie? Uh, ooh, I think it's six. Okay, then in that case, ready? It is six. Paper, rock, scissors, ready? Wah, wah. Uh, well, that's useless. Wah, wah. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Ah, oh, damn it. You know what? You can go first. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. All right. Um, so. <laughs> Christ. Sorry to do rock, paper, scissors over a Zoom call. When there's a half second delay? Absolutely. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, Vale, Ramon, uh, Rain, and then number one and number two. Okay, so the hatch will open uh, just enough that it can actually be pivoted. Vale, what do you do? First action of the game. I am going to <laughs> unload a shot with my assault rifle. Okay, so aiming down, you have line of sight. They have no cover because of the golden rule of cover. And let's go ahead and do this. So, uh, the defender's okay. difficulty value is determined by ra uh, range uh, or dex plus evasion plus d10 if they have a reflex above 8. Is that the way it works? Yes. So they cannot so. try to dodge if they do not have that. Let me check. One sec. They have to be darn fast in order to dodge bullets. Um... Okay, golden rule of cover. And for those of you joining us for the first time right now, we are still learning the rules to this brand new game. Uh, wounding and dying. Friday night gunfight. Here we go. Range combat is attackers reflex plus relevant skill. So this would be your, your guns plus D10 versus attackers DV determined by range target. So, uh, oh, so there's literally just a static DC or DV, yeah. I guess. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So in here... Train car. And if you're if you're using roll twenty for the rolls, uh, you can actually it'll actually put the little chart thing down to say what. Uh, I what mean, you, you can, can use roll twenty, or you can just like just tell me. I trust you. I rolled twenty three. Well, that's gonna, He's gonna hit. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Uh, what are you using? Your assault rifle. Yeah. Are you you're are you just using that or are you using full auto? No, I'm just doing one. Okay, just doing because... one. That is definitely gonna hit. So go ahead and roll me damage. Uh, you. Basically, there are two guys down there, one of which is going to kind of look up at the, the hatch opening going, huh? And the other one has already got his gun raised because he heard someone landing on the roof. Uh, one guy botched, one guy got a critical on hearing you guys, by the way. Ah, so I rolled a, I rolled a double six. Okay. So, so immediately um, 12, critical wound. 15, and I do in 20 okay points damage, but i think a critical does another five on that so 25 okay. and so let's see so let me just double check this so this is a body shot so that's minus his sp so that is 16 points and then it's a critical so it's another five yes okay and i guess in this game when you drop to zero you're dead right uh, you go into a death state and you're almost, you've got like a, the yes roll yeah, on your body death. around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's death yeah, saves. Death, death saves. All right, so how does it go down? You reel back, uh, aim a chamber. Uh, the guys inside are wearing fascistic uniforms. Uh, each of them has, uh, basically it's like a black fascist uniform with like some like rank insignia on their shoulders and arms. They look almost like death troopers. Oh. One of them raises a shotgun at you. The other one is just kind of looking up at you. Which one do you shoot? Uh, one on the left. The one on the left, the one that raises his gun up at you. How, where does the bullet hit? Center mass? Uh, did we roll on the critical injury table? Uh, you don't need to. He's already dead. But we can roll on the critical injury okay. table if you'd like. Or, well, well, let's let's do it, it to him. see where it hit. Uh, I rolled a seven, so it just says for an object. So I guess center of mass? A center of mm, before an object. That's weird. Uh, mm. All right, yeah, we'll say that that is uh, for an object. Oh, I think that usually means that there's like something jammed in the guy now. Like it's yeah. like the bullet's sitting in his belly and yeah, the bullet stays in, causing okay. agony. Sounds good. All right, so you are going to fire center mass, and you're going to hear the sound of shattering ribs and rupturing organs as your bullet ricochets around the hard bits inside of his armor. Uh, he is going to gurgle into his into his like skull cap uh, and like little transceiver that he has kind of wrapping around his jaw. Um, his cybered eyes are going to look up at you and then are going to dilate as he falls backwards before he even has a chance to mutter a sound. Ramon, what do you do? 
Uh, okay, so uh, uh, the, the other guy's farther back in the in the carriage, right? Uh, no, he's directly beneath. Oh, okay. In which case, I am just going to drop down, and I'm going to. Okay, uh, that's your move action. S- yeah, I'm going to slack out my um, my power axe as I go. Okay. Uh, which is on my on my leg, and I'm going to engage him directly okay. into melee. I'll just drop so, right into just melee. Just so we get into good in habits here, your axe was already out at the beginning of this round, because rem- taking out yeah. a weapon takes an action. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Would, yeah. I would have. Yeah. I know. It's, it's you're getting used to new rules. So yep. this the combat totally. system here is incredibly efficient. You get one move, you get one action. Period. The only free yeah. action is dropping something. So, but as you saw, um, Rain did open the hatch, so you would have had time to grab your stuff. Yeah, I okay. probably would have dropped down there with my gun in one hand and my axe in the other. Sure, I don't, uh, I don't see any problem with that. And what I would like you to do, we're gonna make a combat check now for melee combat. So melee combat is going to be your Dex plus melee skill plus ten, and it's gonna be my Dex plus evasion skill. Uh, plus d10. So what is my dex and my evasion skill? Oh, damn. He's actually okay at this. Eh, he's alright. Alright. So, you right. land with your... So what does your axe look like? What does it do? Uh, my, so my axe, like, kind of starts off being folded, and then he flips it out. It kind of, uh, it ratchets back and actually puts a monomolecular edge on it. So it kind of almost kind of deploys. I think it almost looks a bit like a mouse trap when it first actually engages, and then it, then it has a, kind of like a, a fairly, it looks fairly conventional, like, uh, head on it, except that it's it's humming with, uh, uh, with, with a dull vibration that eats through armor. What'd you get on your roll? Uh, I got a, tw- I actually have a rate of fire a two. Uh, okay. And I got a 21 and a 15. Okay, so the 21 is going to hit. And let me roll for okay. the 15, because I get to dodge both, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, uh, the second one, he's going to dodge. Okay, so I land one of them. Uh, so that's 12 damage, and he only gets half of his armor. Oh, damn. Okay, so 12 damage. So that is going to be 10 damage. That means that that is going to be... now. Let's double check that I do this. When you are, what happens when you're dropped to seriously wounded? In this, uh, you get you get penalties minus uh, minus two. Minus so two, pretty much okay. everything. All right. Yeah. So how does this happen? So you drop down and just like slam him in the chest. Uh, yeah. So I'll, so so I'll, I'll like I'll, I'll probably slam down like bat the uh, bat the uh, uh, the shotgun uh, kind of off to the side and then just bury it in right by his collarbones. So okay. Like, <gasps> There's like, a deep the sucking arm. wound in his shoulder. Blood is going to spray onto your face. Um, you're gonna taste this. The he's got some type of hydraulics inside of him. So you're gonna taste the like mixture of oil and blood as it splashes into your mouth. And uh, rain. It's your turn. What do you do? Yeah. The guy's still um, up. He dodges your second blow as you pull out the axe. Oh, okay, uh, I'm going to go after that guy then and see if I can shoot him with the heavy pistol. Okay, and remember that you can break up your movement in any way you want. So you can choose to, you're right on top, so you can just aim down and then can yeah, jump in after. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, just, so you know. uh, go ahead. Yeah. At this range, uh, my difficulty value is, this is one of those times where I really wish I had the DM screen because I wouldn't yeah. have to flip as much. Uh, so this yeah. is so pistols. Uh, I'll I'll print you yeah. one out. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, all yeah. right. So your DV looks like uh, this is a single shot you're doing. Uh, yeah. He is directly beneath you, so that's going to be a DV okay. thirteen. Okay, and I am just De- rolling. Dex plus pistol. My Dex. Dex plus pistol plus D ten. So I think that you're going to succeed. Pistol. What is my pistol? Or your firearm relevant Yeah, score? my very... Oh, 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 firearm. Yes. Should be your... Oh, uh, I'm basic... learning where everything is. Uh, oh, I know. Yeah, okay, okay, very What's heavy weapon. To okay, seven. Got it, so... What's Dex. that? Distant okay, to target is uh, zero Plus. to six meters. Okay. So it's only DC, DV 13. So I have got a nine. Plus Dex is six. Fifteen. Plus seven. Uh, you are going to hit... You're going to hit. Roll me damage. Yeah. <laughs> that is the four d sixes. Oh no! Oh yes! It's a big gun. Mm, two, Didn't. Three, eight, eleven. Eleven points of damage. Okay. Yes. On four d six. Heart. Yeah. I know they kind of rolled a little bit low. They did roll a little bit low. Okay, yeah, a so low. that is going to be. 
It's a moving train. I'm shooting down. You know. Okay, so let me just double check one thing real quick. So he gets hit, which means I have to just look up one quick rule, guys. Pardon me one second, because you just <laughs> dropped him down into a death save. Death save, 254. Uh, death save is just roll under body. Is just roll roll body? Yep, that's it. Just roll under your body score. If you're only kill two or higher, you're dead. If you have a critical, you add one to your... your okay. You add one to the roll. So you have to roll under your body. Yeah. In All right, he's, survive, still, yeah. he's still alive. Good, good for him. Um, your bullet is going to catch wow. him and just lodge in his gut. It's going to spray down. You're going to see some of his... Um, you're going to see organ meat explode out the back as his liver pastes against the ground. You've made pate of his innards. Yeah, he, that sounds he about right. wobbles on his feet, and you can see that his his skin starts to go ashen as the blood dribbles out of him. You can hear the sound of his internal cybernetics whirring against the blood loss. Beanie, you're up. Oh, do you do you move? Yeah, I'm going to jump in. Okay, bang! You land right behind Woo! Ramon. Beanie. Mm -hmm. Uh, this guy seems vaguely down, and as far as I know, there aren't any other ones. So I'm going to pop down and then scan for access points. Sounds good. As you hop down, uh, one moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, inside of here, let me just check the access points. Okay. There's no maintenance port in this car that you can see. You can make me uh, make me roll to see if you can perceive one. Sure. So I think I only have a ten. Only a ten. Looking around, no. This just looks like so. The the car that you've landed in is actually the opposite size that you're expecting. It's a large rectangular, but fat ways across the tracks, not long the tracks. Mm -hmm car um, with a uh, with a number of um, hitches and other mechanical equipment on the side facing out the caboose basically as well as a hydraulic door directly behind you that leads to the other cars as you were approaching you saw that there were four cars to this train uh, you are at the backmost one you see nothing right now um, yeah. looking around a shit I don't see an access point here okay uh, that means that it's going to be this guy. This guy is gurgling, and he's going to try to take a shot. Um, with his last breath, uh, he is going to try to take a shot at... Well, hell, Ramon's right here, and you've got an axe. Uh, so, yeah, that's fair. Okay, so Ramon, how does point-blank combat work with a gun? Does it just work uh, as normal? I think it's just normal, yeah, okay. yeah. It's just it's not nearly as efficient at punching through armor as a melee weapon. Sounds is. good. Okay, so, Ramon, I am at a minus two. Uh, your, my DV to hit you with this is a... Uh, this is a slug, 15, then. 13. Slug shotgun. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, so die. that is <laughs> seven plus my dex. That is a ten plus my guns. Really regretting assuming this person was down. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. One sec. Just double checking where his... Why can't I find the Wait, gun? Is, Look is he still functional even in death state? Or is he unconscious? Uh, he's still... I don't know. He still has hit points. I asked what... Oh, okay. He still has hit points. Yeah, it's all good. He's not yeah, in death state. He fine. was doing a death save. Yeah. He still has okay. two, he still has one hit point. Oh god! So he has enough okay. to aim and fire, and that's I love it. One point. Uh, rolling. That's, that's all you need. need. That's all Let's you melee weapon eleven. Wild. Uh, where is his gun? It'll be uh, handguns. Oh, sorry, it'll be shotgun. Oh no, 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 no there we go. Yeah, and it says use handguns to the shotgun. Okay, cool. So that damn son, really? The boy is good at what he's good at. Uh, okay, so that is a 22 to hit you. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a hit. Okay, Yikes. so slug... Well, it's been one honor, guys. That was <laughs> okay. So... Because uh, he might. He might. Slug shotgun. <laughs> that's like 5d6 or something. 5d6. Okay. You, and you have more hit points than me, I'm Why sure. did you clear the room? Okay. I thought he was dead. So... 
Uh, actually, you might be okay. I rolled really poorly. Uh, so that's going to be 13. That's still through my armor, so I will take uh, two damage, and my armor will go down. Okay, two damage uh, is not bad, though. That's not bad at all. Um, the slug is going to clip your side, and you're going to feel a little bit of your lower floating rib just kind of twist in its socket. <laughs> Um, you're going to have blood fleck your lips and, uh, yeah, that's going to be his round as he basically kind of lurches back and just fires into you. <coughs> However, he only has a, uh, I believe he only has a rate of fire of one on that. So that's useful. I believe so. Yeah. I think so. I'm going to double check that real quick because it probably matters. It does matter. I think it's only small <laughs> pistols that have higher. Yeah. 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 All right. So top of the initiative, Veil. Put another bullet in him. Okay, go ahead. Difficulty Take value 13 at this range. Yeah. He just volunteered for the grave. Nin 19. Okay, uh, you can roll me damage if you'd like, Put or just or down. just narrate how it goes on, because there's no way you're going to not do enough damage. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not a critical, but uh, yeah, there's like 15. 15? All right, so, where does it go? Uh, drives right down through the top of him. Just right through his oh, skull, yeah, probably still comes up there, out right? through his chin. Okay, yeah. um, it's going to go right through his chin and then right through his chest, and he is just going to, uh, there's going to be an explosion of meat, and he is going to shit his internal organs through the bullet hole that erupts out of the bottom of his pelvis. There. And I will jump down. Okay, the floor is slick with his blood. By the way, this is a graphic game, sorry guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm, I'm being grossed out in character, too. Good. All right, <laughs> you hit the floor, and... Uh, what do you do? Fail. Where are we going? Uh, are we we, we got to go up the cars. This is still your okay. initiative. Okay. Let's, where yeah, where are the roll. crates? Okay. Are we out of initiative uh, right now? You are out of initiative phase now. Oh, sweet. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> I want to take a poke at the radios and assume someone else yeah. will take care of Ramon. Yeah, Ramon's going to head over. Like one of them looked like he was trying to reach for a comm of some sort. What is that calm doing? Nothing right now. It looks like he was listening to music on a jaw headset. Okay, great. Let's just actually, as you pull it out, you're going to hear somewhere. that it's a podcast. Well, it's mm -hmm. not a podcast so much as a as a pod broadcast, uh, and mm -hmm. it is from. <laughs> uh, it is from a podcast or a broadcaster named Talison Widener, Wildner. Hmm. One moment real quick. Now you see here, mm -hmm. folks, you see here, the thing is, all of these immigrants coming into Night City need to be purged. They're bringing in disease. They're bringing in terror. They're bringing in guns and violence. And they're rapists and murderers. I was just going to say, Peony, just <laughs> crush that under your heel there, girl. He, he yeah, was oh, definitely. Gross. These guys are fucking weird. Hmm. All right, as you're looking around the car... Find um, this podcast guy, he's annoying. Uh, by the way, guys, don't forget, this is one of the games where if you want to loot the bodies, that is totally acceptable. Yeah, totally. Yeah, annoying. let's find some stuff. Okay. Go straight for, go straight for ammunition. Were... Sounds yeah. good. Uh, these guys are carrying the following items. As you quickly scrounge through them, they have... One moment. Uh, yeah, I am down to scav. <laughs> uh, each of them has a disposable cell phone. Uh, oh, good. Those are useful. They have tech hair and rippers if you want to try to remove their cyberware. Rippers being claws that are built into their fingertips. Um, oh, unless you have a med tech. I don't care. Uh, unless you okay. have a med tech, you, you almost always blow uh, it. So they have VH yeah. pistol. So they have very heavy pistol ammo. 30 each. Oh, perfect. I will take those. Yeah. Uh, they also well, have. I, I got a very heavy pistol, too. Don't take all Oh, good. Of then we'll share. Okay. And okay, they also 15. have. They each have 25 slug ammo. Uh, and of course, yeah, a very po a poor quality mm -hmm. shotgun, which is still, you know, a, a poor quality shotgun. I think does negative one in all shots. I think. Hmm. Oh, Kraken has a question about I think redemptions. Oh, uh, so this se session, uh, we were kind of uh, we're still Probably kind of figuring eventually. that out, but to gain a point of edge, how does it, how does the edge mechanic work? I'm gonna look this up real quick. So, oh, it's not in the index. Of course, it's not. So, a point of edge. Did you guys come across that when you were reading this? 
don't think so. No. I feel like Edge is from no. a different system, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think so. So what I'll do if someone wants to re lock. Uh, yes, yeah, you got, got uh, so don't forget you guys, luck replenish. Uh I'll do that you'll gain three points of luck back on a determination. That's oh, not fair? Sure. Yeah. So yeah. the way that it works is you can what? spend sorry, Mike? I was going to say, but don't go over your maximum, so it's kind of a waste unless yeah. we're spending it. Yeah, yeah so you guys get, yeah. should start spending mm -hmm. luck. Um, you have a luck pool mm -hmm. equal to your luck rating that you can spend once per session, and it regenerates. Yeah. Basically, I think every game session is the way it works. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's yes. a every game session. All right, so... And it's just a plus five, or like a plus whatever you want to put around to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, and how much... So what's everybody's average luck score? Minus six. seven. Five. Six. Five? So I think, a, I think the regenerating three back is pretty good for that. Yeah. So there we go. Okay, so the floor is painting painted with the gore. You loot their bodies for their for their equipment as well as uh, you'll find that they have um, they have some portable eddy chips on them. Uh, you'll be able to add uh, thirty eddies to your haul. Good. Ooh, free eddies. Well, am I am I keeping track of all the gear? Yeah. Or how much something? ammo did we pick up? We got fifteen each. We split okay. the heavy, nice. heavy pistols. Mm -hmm. I can't okay. use the shells. No. Beanie also Me has a heavy pistol, but she's got plenty of ammo. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you could just pool it if you need it. We got oh, crack, and I haven't spent any of my luck yet, so we, we can bank that for yeah. later. Okay, so we got I've two shotguns. Aww. Or we got... Wait, is this the back or the front? The slugs. How much? How many Eddie chips do we have? Like thirty Eddies? Uh, you've got thirty total, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna be... I'm just gonna create a running total, and then we'll just okay. combine up later. Yep. And two heavy pistols. Two heavy pistols, yeah. Give the money to the banker. Oh, so that's. <laughs> you know something kind of funny? <laughs> They've uh they they built the map upside down. Ooh, so I described yeah. a different room, but that's what the room looks like now. So ha. Huh. We, yeah. we can do it back. Okay. They did the map. Um, uh, you're coming in through the back. They did it left. They did it right to left instead of left to right, and that just shows uh, oh. Western reading styles in action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna swap those out. All right. Okay. There are four cars. All right. Three ahead of you. Go. Okay. I'm. Let's I'm gonna push myself up against the uh, the door to the next one. Is there like a little window or anything like that we can take a peek through? There is not. It is a solid sliding door. All right, everyone, get off to the side. I'm gonna open this up. There has to be an access point somewhere around here. What kind of shitty train is this? Maybe one that was worried we, about information warfare. Should we lob a tear gas in there, or maybe? Uh, hey, no one should tell the fascists about information down. warfare, please. Yeah, we can't use we can't use the hand grenades till we actually know where the where the goods are. Yeah, tear gas, tear gas will do it. Let's pop a tear gas in there and okay. All right. let's see okay. if anyone screams. Okay. I guess I'll put on my gas okay. mask. Uh, all I've got is an anti-smog one, which is not going to help too much. Okay. <laughs> oh, those actually do. If it's the oh. the one that you you bought as um, inventory. Yep. So the anti-smog breathing wow. mask is like, dude, this is 2076 anti-smog breathing mask. So it makes right. you immune to the effects of toxic gases, fumes, and similar dangers that must be inhaled to affect the user. So your right. eyes will still get mangled, but... That's okay. Unless you know, I'll, put it on, I'll put it on for now. Go ahead and lob that grenade. Let's do this thing. And I think we'll both take, we'll all take cover on the, the side the door so we don't, so we're, we're in cover. Right now. <laughs> tink, 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 mm -hmm. tink, tink. The grenade rolls inside. <laughs> and begins filling the next room. Uh, the next room that you are looking in is an oblong rectangle. Um, the door that you open up is fairly fairly small, actually. It's um, just a single wide door. Looks like to this little caboose area. And as it rolls in, you are going to see that the, the room is actually slender, a cargo, a cargo one with large bay doors on either side of it. As it rolls in, you'll see that on your left, there are a number of crates and pieces of equipment. Um, one moment. So. Is this our car? Let's see if we get lucky. Let's hope. Sorry, guys. I'm just checking one thing real. 
Yeah. Okay, cool. Do the right one. The room fills with a bluish smoke as the tear gas erupts into the air. After the count of ten, you hear no movement. It's empty. Um. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, let's go. At least it seems empty. I'll uh, go first. You guys cover me. Are you okay, okay. Ramon? I'll actually pull the slug out of my armor. Ding, ding. Well enough for the moment. Uh, Good. As you head inside, um, Beanie, be you're going to immediately see that on the right wall is an access port. Oh, thank gosh. I'm going to try to find somewhere to hide within eight meters of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are a number of crates and things on the left side of this that you can easily crouch behind. They're high, okay. stacked mm -hmm. higher than you are tall. The train car is about these... 12 feet tall. Yeah, go ahead. Are, th are these our crates? They do not appear to be. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm going to try to jack in here. Hang on. Okay, now we're going to learn jacking in. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, security net architecture. Let's do this thing. Mm -hmm. I took a ton of notes. So she's got a bit more range than usual. Usually you have to be within six meters of an access point to jack in, but she can go to eight because she's mm. fancy like that. That's true. All right. So, you need to roll your interface to get in, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, da, 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 da. Net running. I don't know if j jacking in has a roll, actually. I think you uh, just jack in and then you have oh, no, to just roll an action. To, to get through stuff. Yeah. So this, this is basically an action for a turn. It's connecting to the system. And then yep. she would use pathfinding to try to get a lay of the land. All right, sounds good. So let's go ahead and do some pathfinding right here. Use a net action to partially reveal the map of the net architecture. The higher you roll, the more you learn. She rolled in 11. Damn, that's oh. not great. Uh, it only has four for interfacing, so... Let's see, architecture work two, not the DV of anything. You can see the architecture. A number of floors equal to your check, or up to the first obstruction, usually a password. With a DV higher than your Pathfinder check, whichever... So, one second. Yeah, it might take a little bit of time to scout around. Okay. Oh no, I touched my hair and then the book. Nope, oh, that's, uh -oh. that's stained now. Uh, oh, no. They get a 10. The GM determines that only the first three floors of the elevator, because the third has a password. Oh, I see the way they're meaning this here. Okay, cool. Um, so, how does this work here? Damn. Okay. So, you are going to float inside of the, the Hammerhead's mainframe and determine immediately that there are, there are five floors. Oh, gosh. It doesn't branch. This is not a small system. No, it's not. There are only five floors. What do you do? Uh, I mean... Mm, let's see if she can find somewhere that looks like it would be a map, sort of a, a car layout. And specifically, she's trying to find camera access. Okay. Hi, girl. So Let's I'm make sure we're not on one right now. So do you learn the things that are in them? You can see the architecture, a number of floors up to the first okay so um, you will look into the first one but you will see that the even the first floor like the lobby is password protected okay let's start a backdoor that okay go ahead let's go ahead and backdoor that so do you so i rolled a 12 on it all right you are going to patch through it and the password is uh juniper berry She'll, she'll be mumbling this out loud. The password is Juniper Berry. God, so weird. The password is going to breach, and you are going to be able to go further if you'd like. Yeah, let's poke around a little bit more. Okay, can you make yeah. me an interface roll for... Are you going to the second level? Yeah, let's do it. 11. Ooh. All right, moving up to the second level. You are going to cut through its, its defenses easily, and streaming in front of your eyes, you are going to see a file containing the Hammerhead's original cargo manifest. Seems almost too good to be true, but let's take a look at it. All right, the original cargo manifest inside of here. The crates directly behind. Power up you. a couple of defense programs too before I do that. Uh, they are full of rations. 
Looks like military rations. The ones behind so us. They're, um, they're at least saying that they were full of military rations. Uh, and then also in the next car over, there are some munitions that were listed there as well. Looks like actually some pretty cool shit. You are going to see oh. that there are uh, three submachine guns that were being transported uh, with ammunition as well. And those are in the next car uh, as well. So she's going to be saying this out loud as she gets the info. Uh, you are also going to see that there is. You could probably just stream it right to our agents, too. That's true. So we yeah. know exactly which boxes and stuff yeah, but like she's that. Awkward. She's going to mumble it, too. Uh, you will like, see. She'll, she'll send you the, the data, mm -hmm. but also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh, there is what looks like a few rounds of subdermal armor. Like a few oh, sweet. suits of subdermal armor, cyberware for implanting. That's interesting. That's highly lootable. It is. Yeah. Very expensive. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind having I wonder that. if that's what we're after. And then you're going to notice that there is something else that is listed inside of a cryo container. Cryo? Why the hell would they have a cryo container on the train? It looks like it's probably been completely overlooked, but uh, you will see that it is listed as... Boop, 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 boop. Right. Could be organic cyberware. Could be a prisoner. Mm -hmm. You are going to get maybe it's a bird. The last bird. Bernard is a bird. Uh, the cargo manifest just says friendly neighbor. Uh, I don't know what the hell this is other what? than a friendly neighbor. Do I have a location on it? Uh, yes, it is in the next car uh, in a cryo container. Um, you're not sure where, but it is a, an Alchemex cryo container, which you know should be probably about the size of like an extra large, like kind of like a carrying cooler for beer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so not the biggest. Hmm. Okay. Weird. I'm going to poke around a little bit more and see if I can find any cameras. The chat wants me to put Farah in a box here. <laughs> like it's they not fair. Uh, I I so considered you, you having the girl wait for in the me box. If you're in a rush, you you three don't have to wait with me if you're in a rush. I still haven't found the cameras though. Okay. All right, you do your thing. We'll we'll move up. Stay in cones. Okay. So the the four the four crates is that the subdermal armor? Who knows? Mm, okay. You don't know. Just the cargo okay. manifest. So it's not necessarily right. true. Are you gonna keep going? or Are you okay. gonna call out there? All right. So the car we're in right now has rations in it. The next car has munitions. Yes. All right. Uh, I'm Ramon's going to move up to secure the door at the end of this one, being real yeah. careful to make sure that nothing's like, you know, managed to evade yep. us. So I'll be like checking behind box. Like okay. Sounds good. You um, check your corners. Nobody, nothing's yep. on your six. Yep. Okay. And I will try to get the, everyone to stack up. Well, everyone but Beanie to stack up here to do the next room. Okay. Gail's gonna loot one of the boxes and steal a couple handfuls of rations. Oh Be man, like, this is teriyaki flavor. Rations. This stuff is oh, delicious. Such good I used, I used oh yeah, yeah. Rations. Loot, loot as you go. Loot as you go. Sure. All right. Sure. Uh, grab a few. And can I get an initiative roll off of everybody? Since it's gonna okay. come to that in a second anyway. Oh, that's a bad roll. What's initiative again? It's it's D10 dex. plus your reflexes. <laughs> right, reflex. <laughs> yeah. Reflex, not dex. <laughs> 19. 19. Uh, 13. Okay. Uh, 12. <coughs> okay, one sec. Uh, okay. Okay, so 19. Uh, what'd you get, Millie? Uh, seven. Okay. Uh, so, and I heard 13 and 12. Was that correct? 
Uh, 13 for Rain. 12 for Ramon. As you um, as you crouch on either side of the door. Mm. Okay. Boop. Okay. All right. Um, we are going to hop into initiative phase at this point. So, um, Beanie, you are still jacked into the machine, hide, hiding behind the crates, mm -hmm. completely out of view, but you can sense it with your cyberware so that, and your cyber deck. So that is no problem at all. Uh, what do you do? Um, what do you do, Ramon? Do you open the door? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I'm right off to the side, so I'm I'm not, not exposed, and I'll make sure that these two get themselves out of the way first, and then I will open up the door. Okay. The door will breach open, and uh... okay. All right, so we are entering top of the initiative, and I need to look up a quick rule, guys. Hey. Insert elevator music here. All right, so with that, the door opens and uh, nothing happens. What do you do? Who's first? Well, one of us has to go. <sighs> well, the other... I'm going to level my gun and move in, like commando style. Sounds okay. good. I will follow Vale. Cool, cool. I will hold action at the door to see if anyone exposes themselves and uh, any enemies expose themselves and then shoot them. Sounds great. I'm going to use my held action. Uh, there we go. Uh, so, you were going in first, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep. Vale, yeah, you round the yours. corner and we'll see that a, um, a what looks like one of these troopers dressed to the nines, though. One of their officers stands just parallel to the side with three more of these troops who were turning around at his, like, hand signal order, uh, is going to raise his gun and fire a shot into you. Oh, perfect. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, well, my dice itself, I rolled 10-10-5. Oh, I think dice only explode once in this system. Oh, do they only explode once? Well, that's a critical, though, right? Yeah, just, just one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, one. Okay, so that is going to be a critical as you round the corner. That's okay, you can get some dermal armor later. We might need it. Ooh. Okay, so that is going to be 19. Perfect. Uh, unless, do you want to try to dodge this? Because you have reflexes high enough. Yeah, uh... I don't know what's the range with their weapon. Uh, the My range DB. with this weapon, they are about. Let me pull up that chart. Yeah, if you can print me off a, a screen version of this, that'd be great. Yeah. So they're using a assault rifle. You are about ten yards away from them. Uh, so their DV is. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Assuming it's a pistol. It is an assault rifle. So it's oh, okay. sixteen. It might be less. Okay. So that's sixteen. Well, can I, th I, think I, I dump? Can I dump? Uh, now I can spend as much uh, luck as I want. Like it's you not know, just one point. at the point I, I rolled a critical though. I don't think there's any way you can dodge this though. Well, I'm rolling a thirteen plus one die ten, okay. and if I roll a six on top of that, I'm nineteen plus one die ten. Okay, so we can try this for sure. So yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna dump. I, I kind of saw something like this coming. So cool. All I'm right, so. Try. Go ahead. I wish you luck. Uh, it's so dark in here. So it's uh, 26. 26? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so how does that work? So if you try to dodge, it's... So it basically moves his difficulty well, up to 26 to, to hit. Yeah. Okay. So if you don't... So I have a... Where is the way that the guys the way they have the um, the character stats for the antagonist is not super quick to read. Mm. Um, mm, well, I have a very high quality assault rifle, so I'm just gonna say that it's that then because that makes sense. Uh, so I have a so that doesn't reroll twice. I have a 34. Yeah. 
So that is still going to snag you. Okay. Um, <coughs> okay, and let me roll a critical. Okay. Oh, it's 2d6. Okay. Okay, so that's a weird one. Yeah, I'll, I'll re-roll that, actually, because that's... Oh, yeah. All right, so the way it's going to work, as you as you duck down around, um, he is going to take aim and is going to uh, fire a shot across you that's actually going to rip through your hand, disconnecting two of your fingers and dropping to the floor as it punches into the side of your chest. Uh, you're going to take... That's not good. Uh, so there's going to be 19 um, points of damage minus your armor. So wait, where did it hit me? Because uh, it inflicted... I have armor. Uh, it always goes to chest or like body normally. Yeah, it count, counts my body. So how much yeah. damage do you do total? 19. Okay, so yeah, you're eight over. So you're going to take eight and you have the crushed fingers condition. Your left hand is useless. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're going to see Vale's, up those fingers. Vale's left hand explode, basically, leaving only her pinky finger, or their pinky finger and thumb. And uh, that is going to be his action. He's going to take his round to move behind cover. Uh, now, since he was exposed, does that so that sets off my held action, doesn't it? Uh, he had initiative on you, dude. Okay. Okay, okay, cause, okay, so we go, sorry, I wasn't sure if it was like, we went like one round through and then- No, 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 no. Sorry about it. No, he had, an, he had an initiative of like 32. Oh, Okay. Wow. This dude's rolling really well. He's not that good a stat at it. He's not that good, but- Okay. Okay, uh, Vale, you crouch down, get shot, your turn. What do you do? You uh, see directly- I'm gonna offload. Uh, I'm gonna use auto fire. And okay, can you use um, that one-handed? Oh yeah, because I got it on a sling. Uh, nice. Does it say in the rules that you can use a machine gun one-handed? I mean, you can mostly support a machine gun with three fingers. It says assault rifle requires two. Oh, okay. So do you have... Uh, like, I'll let you do it at a, at a penalty. So I'll let you do it at a minus four. Sure. Okay. So that's the same as... That sounds good. And the crit chart is somewhere around here. This book has a lot of flipping. Okay, so go ahead. There are three mooks. The leader has dodged out of view. But his three assistants are definitely open. Uh, you said you're going to go auto fire? Yeah. All right. So, so how does... I've got ten. I got ten bullets I can use. Okay. Um... What's the range here? You said uh, the 15? range here. They're they're about they're about uh, ten meters from you. About ten meters. And you can see okay. all three of them. Okay, so I'm rolling a twenty and a minus four, so ten. So I got fifteen. Fifteen oh, and no. okay. That's a miss. That will be a miss. All right. So does that and that does that miss all of them? Is that the way it works? Weird. Yeah, because yeah, you I are. Yes, yeah, so you're. A, you, yeah. you have a DC a DB twenty at your range, yeah. and then you can just hit everybody if you succeed that though. Okay. All right. So uh, firing, you're going to unload a volley of bullets in front of you as the pain hits you. Are you going to take a move action? Yeah, I'm going to jump back. Okay. Go back through the other room. Okay. Sounds good. Rain, you're up. What do you do? I'm going to fire at uh, the three mooks that are left there. Okay, so you... Uh, what kind of gun do you have at this point? I am using the, the heavy... The okay, heavy so uh, there is one directly in front of you, and there are two kind of, st like, steepled behind him. Uh, go into the close one. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, go if ahead lucky, and uh, uh, make me a roll. Mm -hmm. You have a difficulty. Uh, you're about... About... Uh, about ten meters away where you are. So this is. So it's a dexterity. Roll, dex. Plus and your firearms, whichever your, your relevant yeah. skill. Yeah. And you want a fifteen. Yeah. And we got it. We have a twenty-three. Oh, beautiful. Um, yeah. All right. So go ahead and roll me uh, your forty-six, I believe. Amos, yes. Okay. Mess me up. 
Oh yeah, here we go. So it's 11, 16, 20. Holy crap, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so... Oh, did you roll double sixes anywhere in there? No, no, I rolled a single yeah. six. Two oh, does that do something? Four. Double yeah. sixes is how you actually get the uh, crushed game and stuff like that. Oh, it's yeah. not It's not exploding the dice? No, no that just that just lets you hit more reliably. I mean, I did um, roll double sixes as well, so that's good. Yeah, but, it's the double uh, sixes that actually do well, any double sixes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, you, where do you aim on this guy? He turns. He has one of those shotguns in his hand as he levels it toward you. Oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm shooting for you know like you know body mass. Center mass. You know, like, All right, your bullet is going yeah, to enter the front of his chest, chest as your gun uh, echoes into the into the train car. Bang! And you are going to see as he like pulls back, and uh, he's going to fail his death save and die. Uh as his armor is not enough to absorb that, and I rolled above no. my body. So, hey, uh, he's going to stumble back and choke on his tongue as it plugs the wound in his throat. Oh, that's handy for that. It's handy for that. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's his action. That's good. Uh, are you going okay. to get back in cover? Yep. All right. Sounds good. Ramon, you're up. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to step out, uh, and then I'm going to put two rounds into the... Uh, probably the officer. and The then, officer's undercover. And then mm -mm. Okay, then I'll shoot the other guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll put... Uh, that guy was... That guy's dead. So I'll put... There's like, what, two guys still two up there? Or? Still two guys visible, both of which are leering shotguns toward you, but they're slower than they should be. All right, I'm going to put a round into... Each, I'm going to put one round into each guy. Can you move your mic a bit closer? You're coming in a little quiet. Oh. I'm going to put a round into each guy. Sounds good. So first one... Oh, okay. actually, I'll just do it on here. So you're right next to the door, so that is going to be uh, DV15. All right, so I got a 16, so that'll hit. Okay. And then I got 21 for the second one, so that'll, I hit both. That'll probably hit, too. All right, so go ahead. Uh, oh, first one only got five damage, so probably not going to do anything. Okay. Uh, second one, uh, oh, wow. Uh, I got uh, 17 damage with a critical. Okay, go ahead and roll me on the crit chart. Uh, what, what's the role in the crit chart? Like D10? Uh, 2D2, 2D6. 2D6. And then I have to find uh, the damn thing. 11. Uh, nope. 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 I've got so many pages tagged. Oh, uh, critical injuries. Oh, here we go. I got it. Okay. Uh, crushed fingers. Oh, God. Nice. <laughs> no! His beautiful fingers. Uh, so that was 16 damage or 17 damage? Uh, 17 damage. 17 damage. Okay, that's going to reduce to... Okay. So, that's not you. That's you. All right, so there is. he's going to cock his shotgun, and you are going to uh, fire twice with your pistol. Once the guy is going... The first guy is going to leer back a little as you catch him in the in the body, and his armor absorbs most of it. Ugh, fucking, fucking Cholos. And is going to start to raise his gun. The other guy is going to raise his gun. Yeah, let's get him! And you're going to just catch him in the hand and blow his thumb off. Uh, which and then I'm going to duck back into cover. Sounds good. Uh, now it is going to be number two's turn. Uh, number two, uh, the guy who still has his thumb, is going to... Is anybody st still in view? Nobody's still in view. No. Oh. You'll hear a voice echo. Go in and get him, soldier! <laughs> and uh, he is going to run through the breach and uh, uh, he's going to run up around the corner at uh, who is hiding just on the inside of the door? It is uh, Ramon and Rain? Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, odd is left. Even is... Okay. Uh, Ramon, he's going to round the corner and fire at you. Dang it. And I just keep catching shotguns. And he is going to... Let me double check here. So that is a minus one on his roll, because he got a one. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, So minus one. That's a four. Plus his hand... Well, plus his shotgun... Wait. Wait, you rolled a one? Because you roll another dice and subtract it. I did. So that's how I got a minus one. Yes, yes, that's how you got a minus one. Oh, you got double ones? No, I got a one and a two. Oh, so, okay. So does it minus from one or does it minus from zero? 
Yep. Well, you don't count it. So, like, the one doesn't count. Okay, so, so I'm at minus two. your base yeah. is, minus two. Okay. Oh. Uh, so... And if it's a low-quality shotgun, it's minus one as well. All right. So that's boop. And then... I might actually live through this. I'm just... Oh, man. Shotguns have it out for me, though. <laughs> uh, so that's... 12. Uh, it's like you're getting shotgun revenge right 17. now. You're getting revenge mm -hmm. on the concept of shotgun. He's still going to hit you, just barely. Yeah. Mm. Okay. He, he hits you exactly with a 13. Um, okay, so. Okay, uh, that's going to be uh, 18 points. Uh, that's through my armor. Uh, oof. Oh, sorry. Uh, nope, that is 18 points. Yeah. All right. So my armor, that's body shot, right? Uh, it's, yeah, it's always a body shot unless it's a called shot, which yep. is a minus eight. It's a hell of All a right. minus. So my armor is getting chipped away here. I'm at nine of 11. Oof. And I'm at 35 of 45. Well, okay. Those dermals so are he available rushes for in, rounds the, the corner, them. fires, and is going to run back around the corner with the rest of his movement. All right, Beanie, you're up. Uh, so I guess I'm doing some net actions. Okay. I would like to see what else I can find system-wise. Really determined to find cameras or something so I can get a sense of what's in the furthest car. Sounds good. That's the direction she's trying to go in the architecture. And uh, this is this round, which means that this is automatically going to go off there. Cool. Uh -oh. One moment. Okay, so that'll start on its turn. Uh, you can go ahead and peruse. So what are you going to do? You're just going to go deeper? Yeah, I keep going deeper. Okay, so and you can do three non-meat actions, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, you can head down to the next level if you'd like. Yeah, so that, that doesn't take an action unless there's something okay. in the way. You just sort of choose to move somewhere. Okay, so can you move past a level? You have, you have, you have to progress through each level, right? I guess if you're going further into the system, yeah. Um, I mean, essentially, like, like okay. movement, as far as it's concerned in this space, is as if you're moving between rooms in a building. Okay. And so that's just, like, like a teleport. But if there's a password or something, then I need you to... You are going to hit a password at the third level. And let's try to get through that. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a pretty good roll. I have a 13. Mayflower. Mayflower. Oh, God, this is <laughs> weird. Uh, it is going to explode in front of you. You can continue down. What's going on on this level? Okay, uh, can you do me a favor? What What's your Netrunner name? Uh, Netrunner name? Mm, probably Red Ferret, because it's cute. All right, as you burst through this floor, uh, there is going to be a sudden feeling of heat inside of your mind, and you will see a dog made oh, of shit. magma appear in front of you. Red Ferret. It growls. Uh, you have activated a Hellhound. Ah, uh, great. Time to fuck this thing up. Okay, so let me just find where the hellhounds are. A hellhound is... Oh, yeah, it's all the way at the front. Okay. Hey. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see. Nerve scrub. Virus. Black ice. Where are we at? I was going to say, this is black ice, right? I think I could have purchased this one. <laughs> yeah, hellhounds, the high level, high low level ones. So, mm -hmm. and then... Oh, I'm going to need that. Okay, and okay, so sorry guys, I tagged a lot of stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and getting used to new games. Uh, I, I do have a cheat sheet set open if uh, if that helps. Uh, call stuff. Yeah. Doesn't help for this, I don't think, but there we go. I, I can make you a custom one too, so I can give you all the exact stuff you need. Hold on, I'm just pulling the Hellhound up. I just opened the PDF instead, just so I could search this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and... Well, I mean, essentially, Beanie's going to try to hit it with a sword program. Sounds which is an attack. Good. So, does it roll initiative off against you as well? Uh, I mean, I think it would sort of be acting in the same initiative that we're all in. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, there we so go. It may have me beat. Uh, so perception, how hard the black is to slide, black ice is to slide away from speed, how fast the black ice can react. A black ice with speed lying in wait is more likely to connect with a free hit when initially encountered. Okay. So my speed is six. How is this resolved? 
See Encountering Black Eyes on page 205. Okay. Uh, when you encounter Black Eyes lying in wait in architecture, you roll your interface plus any speed bonus you have plus d10. The Black Ice is rolls speed plus... Okay, I think you might be okay. I have a seven. Um, before any speed bonus I have, I have a nine. Okay, so it is going to snarl but not get a first attack. Um, it is going to attack you on every round. Not if I blow it up first. This is true. All right, so what do you do? This thing snarls at you. Uh, so it... activate a sword program. Okay. So it essentially, this is a versus roll to hit, just like combat. Okay. So I'm rolling my interface plus the program's attack, which is all the plus one, and then a d10, um, and then I'm versus its interface or um, black eyes defense. I think in this case, it's going to be black eyes defense plus one d10. Sounds good. All right, so... Uh... Ooh! I have a 24. Thanks God, because I rolled a 22. Oh. <laughs> this thing is Just. slick and tries to dodge out of the way as you summon your sword program up. Go ahead and roll me damage. So this is going to do uh, 12 res. 12 res. Oh, uh, it is going to strike deep into the Hellhound's flank. Uh, it is still present, though. Uh, it is... Let's see. Uh, All right, so I can't use that program again right now, I don't think, but I can zap it. You can zap it, okay. And so does it trade back and forth in programming actions? Or does I have it, no idea. Does it have its turn? I think that makes sense. So let me just I, I think check. it's fair enough for it when, to get to go, too. I don't think I can do three actions all at once. Uh, I'm just checking right now. Okay. Black Eyes will chase its target, blah, 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 blah. On each of its turns... Um, it is then placed into the initiative queue at the top, one number above the entity with the previous highest initiative. Okay. Right, okay. So then, I, I mean, I guess maybe mechanically I would just do all of my stuff, which I, I've got I guess one you more do. thing I can do. So yeah, and go then ahead. And at the start of initiative, it kicks my ass. Yep. So let's try to zap it. All right, oh, let's I don't do think this. I'm zapping it. Hang on. And this no, is another... I have a negative number for zap. Okay. That's only one to ten. Yeah, no, I botched zapping it. Okay, so wait, can you critically fail that? And if so, what happens? Uh, I assume. I don't know what a critically fail. Mm -hmm. What a let's, critical fail does in, in cyberspace here. But the zap is on page, what is this for you? Page 201. Essentially, it's just sort of an attack against a okay. thing. Uh, did, um, was, is there a mechanic for critical failing besides just like not, like, like actually harming yourself with a botch or something like that? I could zap uh, myself. Mm. I don't it's think so. I didn't, rest of it. I didn't, I didn't see it when I was reading it. So, yeah. All right. So you tried to zap it. It's going to snarl and lunge to the side. And um, that is going to be your turn inside of the mainframe. Or inside oh, of the really network. I have my defense programs up. I'm going to get my brain melted. Okay. <laughs> uh, now it's going to be number three. Pro tip. Brains don't have armor. Uh, he is going to rush in and aim a shot uh, at Rain. Uh, oh damn. Uh, Rain, he's gonna hit ya. Okay. Alright. Hmm. And rushes in, pulls the trigger, and oh, you might be fine, actually. Uh, the, he rushes in, raises the shotgun, fires it, and jumps back around the corner. Uh, he's going to hit your armor with uh, 12 points of damage. Oh, my armor's 11, so okay, I am Okay, so your one. armor value is going to go down by one. You're going to get hit yeah. by a slug in the ribs, and you're going to feel that cracking sensation oh. that you know so well. Um, and at that, you are going to hear the sound of... <laughs> as the sound of an auto turret descends from the ceiling, initiating oh. combat protocols. I really need to get that turret. <laughs> Yep. Yes, Beanie. Yes, you do. Beanie. Okay. I gotta not get my brain melted first. I'm busy. All right. So that is going to be the turret is going to hold its action, as it do. Um, and uh, Beanie, uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, so... I would love to die horribly. Yes. <laughs> okay. So to attack, adds. It's attack to its roll when attacking. So how... So it's probably rolling black ice attack plus 1d10 versus my interface plus 1d10. Okay, so go ahead and roll that. 
You might be able to dodge this. I have. I have a ten. I have twenty. I'm not dodging that. Okay. So I'm okay. So. Uh, it's like, it depends what it's doing. If it's targeting me or my program. Oh. It, it. Oh, actually, you have a program up, right? You have sword up. I have. Well, I have several programs yes. up. So I have She's several up. defense programs. Um, and sword was up. Like, okay. I guess it'll be up again shortly. So, so you, it, it's resed essentially. Okay. Uh, how many programs do you have up? counts that way. Um, right now, two. Two plus sword. Okay. Boop, boop. Okay, so it's going to hit you. Uh, as far as I understand, they randomly attack whatever's in front of them. Sure, that sounds good. So, um, ouch. So you are going to take uh, eight points of damage directly to your brain. I will eat four of that with my armor program, which luckily is helping me. And uh, Beanie is going to scream in pain. Uh, your cyber deck oh, and Beanie. your cyber deck and clothing catch fire. Oh, that's fine. Um, it's the overheat power. Yeah, basically, you're going to start like your skin is going to start crisping around the edges. Ah! Uh, clear the hole. You hear from the officer, and uh, I need to check. Uh, guys, you have the page out. What are the grenade rules? <laughs> oh lord so this okay, game this is, is mean this is where we all die this game is but mean and tells are... me that if you oh, guys God. get them I get them yeah okay uh, yeah now okay, Beanie so... you've got full cover where you are and uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm surrounded by ration boxes and on fire that makes me doubly difficult to grenade Vail, you Who went grenade back and hid are you on the side of the door or are you over by Beanie behind the back of the crates Oh, I'm I'm at the back, like yeah, because I heard you to... basically run back as far as you could go until you could get another yeah. shot. I'm, so I'm gonna recover. Okay, mm. so uh, who? Don't worry, you uh, Ramon. You can come back as like Pablo, Ramon's younger brother, <laughs> who looks just like him. They were they were born two minutes apart. <laughs> all right. Maybe all right. this is all a simulation. So, uh, yes. what yes, are the is. rules for these grenades? Just Teddy here. Room. 174. 174. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have total cover, which means that you will still take some damage from this, but it's going to be vastly underrated, mm -hmm. vastly overrated. Well, it depends uh, where it lands, um, and it has to bre it has to shatter our cover first. Uh, well, you guys don't have but if it, cover. But if, oh, okay, okay. We don't have cover. We just take the damage. But if yeah, because he's going to try to. So yeah. let's see. Uh, during a ten, so that room is is about ten meters. Uh, you may roll damage once for all targets. Okay. Uh, the difficulty to hit my intended target. I'm rolling this to hit the center of the room. So. Are you kidding me? I have to consult something. One moment. Hi. No. <laughs> hey guys, guess what? My Sundays are going to be very free soon. <laughs> it was nice knowing everyone. It was nice knowing yeah, everybody. Really nice one shot okay, game by accident. So, yeah, no. Uh, my throne. That's probably athletics. Right, so that's. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I, need to, I need to check the cover chart for something real quick. Um, doo -doo -doo. And I apologize for the. Uh, for having to take breaks to look stuff up. Oh, I mean, it's the new system to all of we're us. We're doing it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd be surprised we if we didn't it. have to. Can someone Google the cover chart? I don't want to lose the Hellhound because it's about to act. Or no, it's already acted. Mm. See, the damn thing is I tag... Um, I can pull up a, another tab for the cover chart here, though. Hang can on. you please? Because you have different things blocking you. See if I can find it. Hopefully, this is this something that's in the table of contents uh, or index or something. Here we go. I got it. You got it. Okay. What page is it? Uh, oh, I've, I've got a, I've got a cheat sheet. So. Um, does it doesn't list I've what page? A, not for that stuff. Uh, but I've got you know bank vault door bars boulders metal doors. I got the whole lot. Okay. Oh, actually, wait. What was there? Sofa. There we go. Sofa. Sofa. Well, there's there's only one. There's only two mentions of sofa in the entire book, so that's going to be our go-to. Right. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to say bank vault door. Uh, so bank okay. vault door is a minus fifty. Cool. All right. So that's great. Um, no, it's not going to be bank vault. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, I'll say that it's it's 40. Okay, and a grenade is what damage? Because you guys have it right in front of you. Uh, uh, 1d6, I believe. Oh, no, that's a tear gas grenade. Sorry. Yeah. So it's under the ammo section. This is going to be great. You're going to love this. Six, six die six? Six <sighs> die six. All right, guys. Hey, where'd you find that, um, uh, Mike? Uh, I'm assuming that's like grenade launcher. Cause yeah, yeah, same grenade. thing. Yeah, okay, the same so thing. That's yeah. 20, 30. Cool. Uh, you are going to hear, Ray. clear the hole! And then dunk, dunk, dunk. As the grenade yeah. bounces between the uh, the blast doors and gets stuck between the two cars and explodes, hitting absolutely no one. I botched. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I really love that you 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 took the time to give everyone a heart attack first. I know, right? Yeah. Because I'm a dick. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's my action there. Um, you guys, I rolled thirty out of forty Ooh. to pierce you. Uh, but basically, there's just a spray of shrapnel that lines the walls around you. And a whole lot of plinking sounds. Whole... <laughs> Did you get him, boss? Shut up, you! <laughs> All right, Vale, you're up. Why what do you, you? do? Uh, I, I'm going to throw my uh, gun back and whip out my trench sword and charge the guy that's going after Ramon. All right, so uh, rushing in, um, you. So um, as you step out, uh, I have an auto turret. So right. this is where you should Sorry, dodge I bullets. Gotten there yet? I'm trying not to die first. I know, we know, Beanie. And for okay. anybody who's like, uh, I just saw that Vancouver by Night asked where I got my shades. AliExpress. If you look up cyber cyberpunk on AliExpress, you'll find it quick. It's where we okay. get all the good stuff, guys. <laughs> uh, this automated weapon usually plants oh, yeah, in the ceiling of a room. Mm -hmm. Okay, so assault rifle. Okay, boop boop boop. Okay, sounds good. Uh, it has a held action, so it is going to fire. Uh, you may try to dodge this. I would suggest that. Okay. I'm that. Okay, and I'm just looking at my DV chart. Okay, so it's an assault rifle. Uh, you are the only one I can see, so I'm not going to spray because that doesn't do much more. No. 22 okay. to dodge. 22 to dodge? Beautiful. Um, okay, and you are about 20 yards away. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Ooh, uh, 22. Are you spending any luck points to crank that up? No, I spent all my luck. Does anybody want to buy luck points in the channel? Anybody want to buy some luck for Will I look up how uh, my stat is? Uh, Kraken bought luck for me, which I'm happy to donate, considering I haven't spent any luck yet. All right. Uh, how many are you donating? You can donate I mean, You can wrong. donate up to the three that she she got you. Let's do all three of them. Okay. You are going to miss be missed by two points as the uh, assault rifle rips through the floor directly in front oh. of you. Saul Omen just uh, oh, good job, Saul. Some, some yep. Oh, and oh, Chef did too. Chef. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so you that are going to regenerate. Awesome. Um, so, Millie, hang on to your points. Um, we'll say that you burned three, so you still have three luck points left now, Vale. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, adjust, adjust my sheet. Beautiful. Uh, so the gun is going to go off. Um, you're going to go deaf in your right ear for a moment as the bullet whizzes by, uh, but you <laughs> can rush through an attack. Okay, I am going to skewer the guy with a sword. All right, sounds so. good. There's a guy on either side of the door. You can attack both of them if you'd like with your sword, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, I guess I get two attacks. You get two though. attacks. Yeah, yeah so as long as it's not a very heavy weapon. One each. One each, all right. And I will look up how to dodge this again because the rules are falling out of my ears. Boop, boop. All right, so attackers, Armor. dex plus... 13. Dex plus evasion. Okay. Right. Oh, that's pretty good. 13. Like, probably not enough. 16. Uh, Dex plus evasion. And let me know if you're spending any luck on any of those. Uh, well, the one on the left, which I think is the one that's going after Rain, mm -hmm. got 17. And okay. the one on the right got uh, 22. 
Okay, are you spending any luck on either of these? Uh, yeah, I might as well dump it into the lower one. So okay, raise 20, it. 20, 20? 20 and 22. Uh, 20 yeah. and 22. There's going to be two hits then. Okay. Uh, All right, rushing three. through. You are going to, uh, to wing your blade around. And uh, yeah, that okay. is going to be a rough day for these guys. The one after rain gets eight, half okay. half armor. Okay, so um, half armor. Okay, so and the other one got double sixes uh, plus oh, three. Oh no! So oh no! Okay, roll on the crit chart. Fifteen. <laughs> uh, so long, Fred. That's gonna be nasty. Okay. Give me the crit. Yeah, I'm trying to find the chart. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's way in the back. There it is. Okay. Ooh. Double sixes. So, uh, that's a 12. Oh, God. That is Ooh. a dismembered leg. Okay, yeah, you are going to take his... What was the total damage on that? Um, double... You got double sixes, and then... Yeah, so 15. Plus, plus a 5 for a critical. Okay, so 15. Tw uh, so 20. So 20. Uh, which he has armor. His armor is not great. Uh, he has already taken a hit, so it's down to that. So that's... But it's only half. We round down, so... Oh, you know what? Hold on one sec. I gotta roll a death save. Well... Uh, you are going to rush forward, uh, <laughs> and the first one, uh, how do you kill the one that was going after Rain that's almost dead? Um, uh, well, the one on the right leg, so probably went high, probably, like, scalp him. Okay, you are going to cut the top of his head off, you're going to see his brain, the little bits of cybered, uh, cybered implants for him checking his email. You could see that, like, he has a little porn hub in there. Or you can see it. What else survives? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a little node. You you know what it looks like. It's this like bright pink thing um, that's flashing just like <laughs> pornography to the back of his. You know what's really funny is that whatever these guys appear to be against as not right, he's watching that on his eyelids. Of course. You know? Of course. Because Total. that's always how it happens. Oh, good. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Cal. Thanks for approving that. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I, I saw that. I was like, dude, what's wrong with that? That's <laughs> because uh, I have an auto sensor, but like that. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, that's uh, all good. My bots are a little overzealous. Like Nightbot the other night was like throwing like Nacro into a into a, into jail for like using caps, and I'm like, Nightbot, no, oh, no. <laughs> all right, bad uh, and Nightbot, then the bad other Nightbot. one, um, Mike, I'm just gonna describe this. So Vale's gonna reverse the blade, and not only are you going to lob this guy's leg off, but you're gonna cut him straight from oh, asshole hang on, to throat. I just lost audio. Make me say it twice. You can say it more dramatic than this time. Than All right. Know. More, more dramatic? Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Are you back? <laughs> are you back? Are you back, Chumba? <laughs> Annie, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay, Annie? Was there a smooth criminal involved? Were we hit? Were we strong? You may be smooth, but we're not going to It is getting very warm no. here to be wearing a puffy jacket. I'm not going to put that out there. <laughs> I'm going to better we design my, my cyberpunk outfit cracked. next time. Yeah, I should open mine on the break. Fans of I need to get gone. slippers for the summer. <laughs> well, I mean, Vale did take a shot near the ear, so they're probably a little bit a little yeah, bit I mean, deaf right I mean, now. We, we, could, yeah. we could type. We could type it. Yeah. Can you hear us now? Yeah. Can you hear us now? Hello, hello, Vale. Hello, Vale. Is there a button on the side of the? Hmm. Mm hmm. So, chat. How's everybody well, doing? Well, we're tonight? well, we're paused here. Yes. So we were just saying what you're you're bopping over zealous. Yesterday, my bot got mad at someone for saying the word French. Go. Okay, oh, I got it. back. Swears in French. Hey. All right. So. Sorry about that. What just happened to my chat? I don't know. It's happened to mine too. 
What, what happened to it? It looks fine it for just me. Went... It just vanished. Oh. Your connection to the server has been interrupted. Anything you do right now? Uh oh. That's yeah. exciting. One sec. Oh, I'm back. There we go. That's weird. I just refreshed. It's all good. Technical difficult. Yeah, Corvus, the Forbidden <laughs> France. Mm. Illegal. Forbidden France. All right. Well, that's weird. You guys are still hearing me, okay, right? Oh yeah, well, we can hear, we you, hear fine. you. Okay. Through the Discord. Okay. Well, I am not okay, sure. It looks like we're still on the stream here. Cool. So long as we're still on the stream, we're not dropping yep. frames. So that's all nope. that matters to me. Okay. Uh, Vale, you are going to just like reverse your blade, lob his left le left leg off, and cut him from asshole to sternum. Uh, he is going to fall to the ground in two chunks. Uh, what are you doing? So that was pretty much your move. You could probably dodge back around the corner if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll try to tuck in behind where Ramon is. Sounds good. All right, so go ahead and do that. Rain, it's your turn. Rain. Oh, Rain. sorry. Oh, <laughs> I can hear you. It's, I'm all good. Uh, just the, uh, the the chat cleared on me again. Um, yeah. I am going to shoot. You said chat was cleared by a moderator for me. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to refresh my Did chat someone... in OBS. Yeah, no, we're good. No, I'm going to shoot again. All right, so uh, now who okay, asked? So, just, uh, so there are two dead men laying on the ground. Uh, the officer yeah. who threw the grenade has gone back undercover, and there's nothing visible but an auto turret. You could run ahead and try I'm, to find where the officer is around the corner. I'm going to try and take out that auto turret. Okay, so you got to do a lot of damage to take out an auto turret, but go ahead and make me an attack roll. Well, well let's hope that I can do some Failure, <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Ramon. very heavy pistol, maybe? Just a shot? Okay. I so mean, at the very least, I can give Beanie, you know, like, some, some, so towards it. So, how to shoot a stationary object? <sighs> I mean, when I'm not on fire, seven, I'm sure I can deal with this thing. Seven. It's really true. 21. 21. Okay, so one sec. Okay. Um, it might just have, you know, like, a, a pretty easy to hit and then armor. Chunk of metal. Uh, so it has a no because it just you're doing damage to its 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 structure. Uh, so I think it says combat number fourteen. So I'm guessing that's probably it's to hit as well. Okay. Um, uh, well, I got a twenty-one. So that's going to be a hit. Roll me damage. Okay. All right. All the day. Oh, Not no. so great. Ten. All right, cool. I'm back. So ten. All right. So firing mm. up, you're going to hear a plink as you mm. take a chunk of it away. Good job. That's that's a hit at least. Yeah. Okay. All right. You gonna duck back around the corner? Yeah. All right, Ramon. Yeah, what do you do? Uh. If I chuck a grenade, will that will the officer and the and the thing be in a, be both in the blast radius? Uh, the yeah, the, I think the entire room will be in the blast radius. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sending us out either against that thing. I will step out and chuck a hand grenade. Okay. Um, one moment, please. Did we know there was a? Didn't we know there was a bunch of cool stuff in this next car? Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff in this car. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I, but like, mm -hmm. uh, my other, my other choice is to, uh, well, I can't see the officer. I can put two rounds of that thing, but I don't think I have enough armor pen to actually hurt that thing. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't really have any means to deal with it. Your call. Yeah, I do eventually. <laughs> Maybe assuming I don't die, we'll see. Your call. You oh, tossed a grenade. Okay. Roll me a, roll me an athletics or roll me a throw. Roll me, roll me a throw. Also, that's the guy with the grenade launcher, right? <laughs> Oh, it's the guy with a grenade. Okay. Nerdy, we, we do not. Not at all. Friendly fire is... There is no friendly fire. Oh, uh, you know what? I, no, I'm, 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 I'm not going to say, throw the you know, you know Vale ran into the room, right? Or no, she... Or they jumped back behind you. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to charge the officer. Let's just do that. Okay. You're going to charge the officer? Yep. I'm okay. Ch close range of them and then... Uh, oh. and then so, as you round the corner, you're going to make line of, line of sight contact. You can go ahead and make me a shot roll. Uh, your roll is going to be 
Uh, you are at this point. Uh, you can close as close as as like six meters, if you wish. Oh, to the officer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, he is crouched behind yeah. some some uh, some crates at the back of the room. Uh, sure. And you can round the corner, get within, and just plug. So that's D that's yeah. DV thirteen if you're using a pistol. Okay. So I will shoot him twice then. All right. Go ahead. Uh, oh, just gotta switch my windows here. Uh, I don't think I can actually miss him unless he's got reflexes. Mm, let me check. Does he have reflexes? He does. Almost has enough reflexes. Almost is uh, not not great. All right. I got a 16 and a 22. Okay. 16 is going to be a hit, and so is a 22. Go ahead and... Oh. Oh. First one is 13 damage. 13 damage, and this is with your, this is with your gun, so... Yeah. Okay, so 13. What, how many hit points do I have? Cool. Okay, your first one is going to punch through your, through his armor, and uh, you're going to see a spray of blood as well as the servos uh, under his rib cage, kind of gasping for air. Uh, yeah, and I... Like, second one? And then I, I got an 11 on the second one. Ooh, okay. Uh, so, he is seriously wounded. You see him, like, punched back as he grits his teeth and tries to force himself back upright. Um, and you were kind and, of in the middle uh, of the floor. Uh, Beanie, it's your turn. Take two hit points worth of damage as you are on fire. I'm tired of being on fire. Armor does um, not block that. That sounds good. I was going to say, it's no longer, it's meat space fire at this point, right? It's meat so space just, fire. Meat fire! I'm getting sizzled a little bit here. A little meat, bit toasty. Meat fire. Um, that off. I will say I really like the roll twenty character sheet on this, but it is slow to navigate. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Well, let's whap it with a sword again. With okay. Go ahead. Uh. Do, do, thirteen. Thirteen. I'm rolling pretty good. I'm surprised. And one sec, just while I double check mm-hmm. how my defense works. So it's thirteen. Yeah, yeah thirteen. And I roll my. Defense against that. So you that. roll one d ten plus the, nope. um, the the black ice thing. I, I got ten. So you're gonna hit. Roll me damage. Sweet. Hurt me more. Oh, I'm gonna try. Oh, I'm not rolling great on damage though. Five crepes. All of six damage. Six damage. Okay. Um, one six. You've already like, against the res. So what? I don't know what it has for res, but one sec. I'm just finding out. Nope. I did a bunch before, but I don't know if it would be enough combined. Okay, so that is going to slam into it. Uh, it is definitely damaged. You see bits of its pixels leaking off. Red ferret, red ferret, red ferret. Uh, let's, let's try to zap it again. Try to zap it again. Give me a zap. No, I, I botch. <laughs> what is with you and zapping? I can uh, zap again, though. Hang on. You can <laughs> zap again. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there buy we go. Some I have a dice, again. Beanie. Thirteen again. <laughs> it's usually very nice to me. It just doesn't like to zap. Okay. Uh, something else. I. It, are you going to spend any luck on this? Uh yes. Let's put two into it. Thank God, you succeed by two because because it got a thirteen. Oh, that's very good. Okay, so roll oh, me I damage. I said that before I rolled. But are you supposed do, to say do, it before do. you roll? Yeah, probably. But whatever. Yes. It's it's, it's our beta it. game, so we'll we're learn just, we're for learning. next time. Yeah. Uh, I have four damage. Four damage. Oh, it is starting to crackle and break apart. It is really damaged. This it's... thing is still alive. Creeps. <laughs> 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 I need this thing. Yeah. Well, that's my red, reaction. Red, so, red, red, other than red, being red, on red, fire, red, that's red, my red, turn. Red, <laughs> turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is going to do that. So you have to take a meat space action to put yourself out. Uh, the auto turret. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, auto turret <laughs> is going to pivot and is going to fire at Ramon. Uh, Ramon, uh, it's gonna hit you. Yeah, uh, it's the course. Well, I mean, you ran out, so. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, yeah. Cool. Uh, Ramon, oh god, I have a critical on you. Oh shit. Uh, oh no. All right. How many hit points do you have left, Ramon? Probably not enough. I think it's Can like we buy some for him? No, I'm, I'm at thir- I'm 35. Oh, you're probably that's, fine. That's, that's my maximum hit points. Wow. <laughs> you're probably fine. Stop whining. <laughs> it's just a bullet to the spine. You got two spines. Uh, we, yeah, you got we'll two. Slide. You're we'll a Krogan, right? We'll staple it back on. 
I just got my spine rewired. In character, you don't have a spine. It's fine. Oh, over the comms. Okay. Uh, hold How on. was I'm... I ever cowardly? I never even got the chance. It's true. He just kind of he did just kind of <laughs> rush in. Okay. You're the one who you're the one who bailed. Where yeah, that's is... true. She doesn't, Beanie does not have a spine. That's an accurate description. All right. There's a history here. You guys will learn it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Do uh... I have this page marked? I'm gonna mark this with like ugly purple is going to be the correct one for this page because I keep having to go to here. There we go. All right, so uh, let me, oop, let's not do that. So that was 5d6, I think, for an assault rifle. Uh, so that is going to be 12, uh, 23 damage. Whoa. Uh, and, All right, so. And, uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, So it's 28 then, right? Because they get plus 5 for the crit. Yeah, so roll 2d6 until you get a critical energy injury that you're not suffering. All critical injuries cause a horrible injury effect and deal 5 bonus damage directly to the target hit point. So pardon me, take another 5. Yeah, I was already accounted for that. Well, no, I, on top of what I get the number I gave you? Oh yeah, I know. I, I, I said there's there's 5 on top of that. Okay, yeah. so you should have taken... 28, right? 28, yep. yeah. Oof. Okay. Okay. I am now severely wounded. I, I, I'm okay. at 15 Critical of 45. Critical injuries so. and their bonus damage are inflicted rather, whether or not it goes through your armor. Uh, and uh, that is going to be for an object. At the end of every turn, you move more than four yards on foot. You resuffer the bonus damage directly to your hit points. Uh, so what's going to uh, happen is it's going to just unload a volley of shots at you that are going to rip through you, but the metal crate to your right is going to explode, and a chunk of shrapnel the size of your hand is going to embed itself in your gut. <sighs> Stop resisting. That's what the auto turret's going to say. It has a speaker in it. It's it's cheeky. Um, okay. Maybe kill the turret! Okay, now we are at <laughs> I'm the on fire. top of initiative. The Hellhound, Red Ferret, Red Ferret, Red Ferret, Red Ferret, Red Ferret, is going to uh, take another swipe at you. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Let's see what I got for defense here, but probably uh, not a crit. Not Beanie, a crit. it's going to snarl and randomly attack you. It targets you specifically uh, and is going to lunge at you uh, inside of the net interface and miss. Oh, hallelujah. I rolled two ones in a row. Good job. I'm very, very excited. I rolled like an eight. <laughs> I was like, oh, my defense is garbage. I'm going to die. It lunges at you. Red ferret. <laughs> and uh, the officer is going to... Oh, the officer's... Yeah, he's still alive. So, uh... He's just hurt. Okay, so you are directly in front of me. I am a security operative. Uh, all right, so yeah, uh, he is going to. Oh, God, you're right in front of me. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot you, cause you're yeah. you're right in front of me. Um, cool. Uh, you are right in front of me, which means that my DV yeah. is a 17. I have a 12. Plus 22. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do you have any luck? And it's only... I, throw into your defense? Or you don't have any here, do you? Right. No, I, I, do, I do have luck. Yeah, I got full up on luck. But um, I don't think I can apply it to his rolls. Yeah. I can apply it to my mortally wounded. Uh, okay, so... 15. Uh, so you're going to take 21. Uh, okay. Okay. So, 21? Yeah. I think I will still be standing. Let's hope so. Because I still have armor left. So, 20. And so you're degrading your you armor every time, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm down yeah. to eight. Yeah, I've got eight left. Okay. I just took I just took big hits, right? Not, not small ones, because it was like grenade. And, oh, not grenade. But yeah. Uh, so, mm -hmm. seven there. And then it was 21. So, mm -hmm. that's 11 off. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm still on my feet. And it's only on double sixes that I get a crit, right? That's correct. I got so many yeah. other doubles on this roll. It's ridiculous. 
Okay, mm-hmm. so he is going to fire into your chest, and he is going to use his action at this point to, uh, from where he's crouched, to run across the floor toward the door into the engineering room. And he's just going to start shouting, Open the door! Open the door! Meanwhile, we cut to the uh, to the driver's room, where you see just two people, like, listening to, like, Thunder only happens when it's raining. <laughs> Drinking some sea spray, like, out of a bottle, like, you know what? I hate is everybody. Is this maybe a cover version that Rain yeah. did one time? I think it might. It is, actually. And these two, yeah, these two nice. fascist punks look at each other, and they go, you know what, man? I fucking hate everything. But I love this day. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice day. And they just hear, like, the, the the bass beat is just mirroring the sound of the guy banging on the door. Uh, I love you, bro. <laughs> no, bro, I love you. Hey. Love you, man. Love you, man. Why don't you tell the whole world Passing. that you love me? <laughs> I love you are my whole world. I told Why you. did you whisper? Because you are my whole world. <laughs> And then they start making out because they're intolerant, <laughs> but they're not homophobic because it's it's twenty seventy. No, no, this is just you know. Let's yeah. let's hope. Yeah. You know what? They're just confused. They're they're not about not about the making out with each other about the hate. No, no, they're just confused about the rest of the world. They're just confused yeah. about the re- you know they just needed this moment with like the Fleetwood Mac cover yeah. <laughs> and the rhythmic sound of their friends dying. Sometimes you just need a little bit of you need a little mm. bit of Stevie Nicks to point you in the right direction. All right. In life. Uh, Oh, they let them make out. Yes, there you go, chat. Um, all right. Vale, it is your turn right now. This guy is hammering on the door, and you are the equivalent of a cybernetic serial killer. What would you like to do? Well, I still have my sword out, so I might as well go and uh, help oh. him bang on the door with his back of his head. Don't forget, you can move and attack and move and attack in any order. Meaning, yeah. if you are running under this turret, you can make an attack at it, too. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, so go ahead and make me an attack of the turret. Okay. I will. Because it can't move. Um, plus 13, so 23. That is going to be a hit. Roll me damage. And three dice. Uh, nine. Nine damage. Okay. Yeah. Butte. Okay, uh, ru- leaping up into the air, you're going to slash your katana through the um, through the edges of both of the gun barrels that were unloading on you, and then the entire unit's going to go da 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 over its speaker system, da 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 da, ah, and is going to slump down <laughs> as you have neutered it. Uh-huh. Speaking of neutering, all right, mm. and rushing up, can you go ahead and make me an attack? He's going to try to dodge this. He is really going to try. Ooh, uh, are you spending so, any of your luck? Or so no, you've spent all your luck. Yeah. You know what? I don't think it matters. So seven, 13, seven. <laughs> yeah, it's tw- probably so okay. 20. Okay, so, and dodging. So, dex plus evasion. Oh, that's a nine. What's my evasion? What's my evasion? Oh, that's only a 15. Womp, womp. Okay, roll me womp, damage. Womp, womp, womp. 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 Three days. Come on, sixes. Oh, they all rolled sixes. Oh, God. So there's a crit? <laughs> yeah, like, okay. it is 18 plus uh, the crit on that. So Okay, so that's 23. Roll me 2d6. That is a great time for sixes to show up. Wait, if you have multiple crits, <laughs> no, like, is three sixes it, like three crits? What, no, you, you get just on, get one. What did you get on 2d6? Uh, nine. Nine? nine. Oh, he has yes. a torn muscle. Aw. Aw, that's too bad. Um, so he is going to twist to try to avoid you, and you're going to feel his... Are you going to see his hamstring just snap? Ow. And Ow. Uh, how does he die? Uh, I probably, like, take his kneecap off with his sword and uh, just, like, keep going up the meat so, like flap the meat off up okay. his legs. So All right, so you are, go- you are going to eviscerate like a flag. the ribbons, and you are just going to see this bloody hand grabbing the door going, bro, as he slides down and dies. Uh, and with that, the uh, the room is silent, but that's not all because we are down to 
Uh, Rain, what do you do? R Moan is kind of bleeding profusely onto the ground, seriously wounded in front of you. What do you do? Yeah. Is our and our turret is it's taken neutered. care of? It's yeah. just kind neutered. of going. Okay, great. I do. I do have a little. Uh, I can try and mangle a little bit of paramedic. Um, so I'm. Oh just, yeah, I'm, I'm the gonna, paramedic. <laughs> I know, but I'm. I've got first, first aid. aid. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't have. I, yeah, I can use either first Par aid or paramedic. paramedic so use, is for I'll criticals. Use, yeah. Yeah, I'll use first aid. Okay. So that is going to be. And I think that, using like it on that. yourself is a penalty in this system. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come check. Yeah. I'll come check it. Yeah. yeah it is not do, a kind uh, game. Um, can no. I assist with the uh, first aid? Uh, no, it's not your turn. No. Okay, but I'm saying, can I? Uh, when it comes around to you. When it comes around. I don't know, actually. That's a permutation of the engine that I have not seen. Yeah. So let's take a look. Yeah. Uh, so healing is around page 220. I was actually reading that you can do assists. I can have you? to do a test. Yeah, I have to do a test. If yeah. I succeed, then whoever else does it gets a plus one. You yeah. just, just a plus one? Yeah, that's it. Huh. That is... <laughs> Thanks for the effort. Yeah. Just little little <laughs> applause. <laughs> you, you, you hold this bandage. Okay, uh, your wound state, uh, so, oh, and then they re, okay, so this is going to be, you are seriously wounded, James? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm at less than half HP. Okay, so you're at a HP. minus two to all actions. Uh, so to stabilize, I need you to make me a, uh, a first aid roll. DV 13. DV 13. Me or James? Uh, you. You're the one doing it. Me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tech. Tech plus first aid plus one yep. d ten. Yeah. Uh, and are you spending any luck? Uh, yes. I have not looked at the dice, so I'll re-roll it. And yes, I would like to spend luck. Okay. How much luck are you spending? Uh, let. I haven't used any yet today, so let's put three in. Three in. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry too much, guys. What? So stabilizing no? just means that I will begin natural healing processes. So it's not going to make any difference for the for the combat for now. I'm. I'm not going to okay. bleed out. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to be wrecked no matter what, but you I have sure? to stabilize before I will actually naturally heal. Okay. All right. Okay, then let's skip the luck. I'll just go for a straight roll. Yep. Sounds good. Okay, that's a five, plus my tech is seven, and my first aid is seven, seven, 14, 19. 19? All right, so you're going to be stabilized. 19. Okay. Uh, I, can, I can do that at least. Uh, you are so stabilized? I will, I will heal my b body rating each day. Uh, yeah. However, there is a quick fix. If you have param, a quick fix will. You can quick fix yourself. Yeah, yeah. so I, can, I I might quick fix my critical injury to like deal with okay. my. Own. So rain is going to stabilize you, and it is your yeah. turn. What do you do? So a rain puts pressure on okay. on your ribs and your and your your yeah. lacerated yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. God, that was a mistake. Oh, and. Um, and then I will like struggle behind my back and pull out my uh, my med my med kit uh, or med bag I think it was. Okay. And uh, I will start and... healing myself. Okay. Well, um, because it's a beta, we're just gonna roll this in. But pulling out your med bag would be your action, normally. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Are we still in the initiative? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Yeah, okay. I'm still in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Millie's still Fair in enough. combat. So, yeah, uh, I, I, that, it's what I would do anyway. I'd pull it okay, out. So anyway. you'll pull yeah. that out. So we're going to go ahead down the initiative. Beanie, what are you doing? Uh, let's try to kill this freaking thing. Kill this freaking thing. Attack me. Come at me, bro. Oh, wait, that was the other guy. Dude. Come at me, red ferret. <laughs> you cannot beat my massive defense of... Oh, that's a, uh, you might want... Are you spending any luck? I am putting two luck into this. I have a 12. Uh, that beats my 11. Oh, wow, I'm glad I put luck into that. I'm like, this world is mediocre. Let's throw some in there just in case, just in case. All right. Give me damage. Uh, what does Zoom do? Sorry, Zoom just vanished for me. Well, don't do that. Do... Okay, that's a better roll. That's a 10. Do you want I have a potential, like, 18. Do you want to describe how the sword program destroys the Hellhound? Yeah. I seem very... Like like a rapier pulls it apart pixel by pixel dramatically, so, so it has to suffer with whatever tiny bits of sentience are programmed into this hellish like, piece of shit. Like a spiralizer. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just made zoodles out of it. 
<laughs> I I'm picturing very much that um, the French guy from JoJo. But the little... <laughs> Zapelli? No. Um, I guess I have I have more action. All right. So what are you gonna do? You gonna keep going um... deeper? Essentially, yeah. I want to see what I can get access to. She was going to try to find cameras or guns, but it sounds like the gun is mangled. Okay. Uh, so, uh, popping down to the fifth level, you will find the control node for the uh, uh, for the automated turret. But it seems like it's down. It is down. It is down. Um, uh, are there will... any cameras on the train? Uh, there are. They're on a cycle right now. Basically, like they only have one active at a time, but it looks like it's cycling from back to front. Um, okay, so let, let's edit those to make sure they're not catching anything. Sounds good. Uh, so uh, I think that would probably be an interface roll. I think it is. It might actually even be a... Um, oh, what's the name of that ability? Like, at this point, this might be a cloak. Okay, go ahead. Do, do, do. Oh, that's not a great roll. That is a nine. A nine? So essentially, I'm hiding us with like a nine. So an actually competent netrunner will know that I'm editing this. Um, for how I edit this, uh, this might actually count as planting a virus, which is like a whole complicated thing. Sure. Uh, just describe it to me. So is that, what she wants to do is essentially just wipe the camera footage of the last little bit here and then have it pop back to all of these dead bodies hmm. and none of us. Okay. So anything recorded will not include us, ideally. Sure. Uh, I'll let you go ahead, and uh, then someone with who, with good uh, a good net runner will be able to un unscramble that. Like like potentially find leftover stuff on the hard drive, but we'll certainly like even a mediocre net runner is going to know that someone messed with this. I did not okay. do a good job of hiding myself. I'll let you here. spend the rest of the time. Uh, take another two points of damage as you continue to burn. Will do. Okay. And uh, that is going to be. Uh, basically the initiative phase uh, unless you decide not to put yourself out next round. Oh, she'll put herself out next round. Okay, so go ahead and put yourself out and then you can spend another couple of rounds, just like, another couple ugh, of seconds ugh, just like ugh. building up this this uh, cloak that you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right. With that, there's a bit of calm inside of the, car the carriage. You see that there are a number of different crates and, and uh, supplies all around you. It looks like yes, Four crates, just as described. Oh, good. Let's just get them and get the hell out of here. They're large. Are we, can, can we stop the train? up in that direction? Do we... I was about to ask that. Do we want to try to stop this thing? Oh, we gotta unload. We can't just toss them from train to train, I don't think. That, that was literally uh. the plan, but... Yeah, the yeah. other oh, train's it? right yeah. next to That was literally the plan. Still, yeah. yeah. My bad. I didn't realize they were sticking with us. Okay, I can... Yeah, I it's can basically a train uh, hijack, and we pulled up crates. next to it. Okay, Vale is unable to carry. Okay, I can, um, as long as I have somebody uh, to, I don't know, uh, help I mean, I take, certainly help take them this. from the other oh. side. Actually, I can do something about a Vale. Actually, a Vale wants to come yeah. over and get... I can do I can do a paramedic yeah. to try to turn... That's actually the one fingers. thing that, that might be good Temporary. to do while I'm in here, Kelly. Staple, if I, staple it up. Hold on. Yeah. If, if I'm if I'm aware that there are people in the front of the train who are steering the thing, even if they're making out or whatever the heck they're doing, I want to lock them in. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you you can do that. Uh, Ramon, you need to heal your own critical. Uh, yes, I need to heal my own critical as well. Uh, so are you choosing to not to that. heal your critical in order to heal veils? Um, yes, for the moment. Okay. Uh, like I'll heal him because he can. So, uh, so sorry. No. The veil can start moving crates, and then yep. I can heal myself while they're doing the job. Okay. Because yeah, you can move four yards or something without being hurt, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. crawl along. So let's do this. Oh, that's critical. Okay. Uh, so even just just the critical stuff is enough for me to even with a pe my penalty is enough to to fix uh, Vale's fingers temporarily. Okay, so you will. So it's like a it's like a huge dose of pain meds or something. Sounds good. All right, you will drop some endos directly into Vale. Uh, vale, you're gonna feel a rush of pleasure and a dulling of pain sensors. Um, you're oh not yeah, gonna... that's what I'm talking about. All right, mm -hmm. you're not gonna have too much of a grip, but you're gonna have enough to kind of like wedge your arm underneath and kind of. Yeah. All right, so uh, you can go ahead and grab that, and you can roll for yourself. Okay. I crit it again. Okay. Uh, same roll, actually, exactly the same roll. All right, so you are going to pull the chunk of metal out of yourself with a groan and uh, insert a kind of um, 
It's like shaving cream that hardens immediately when you push it into the wound. Yeah, I actually imagine that thing is still in there because like it's only relief for the day and then it comes back. So it's it, I might just be like it's might be like a call. Okay, so you're patch, just gonna like, put like put basically super glue like, on top of it. And just like foam over and like lock it in place. Sounds good. Um, are you grabbing anything else while you're inside? Uh yeah, I'll grab some of that dermal armor stuff if that's possible. Um, uh, so it's inside of, it's inside of a crate, so you can just do another another couple of trips. Sure. Yeah. We're gonna mm. we're gonna grab that subdermal armor because okay. Either yeah, let's start keep it or, this or sell it. Okay, so um, if you guys are, so you will have to, so you can either throw it or jump to the other car with the with the um, with the crates. Um, mm, how heavy are these? Like they heavier are, than we are? They are heavy enough that uh, they're four four large crates. It says that you can carry them. Uh, so I'd say they're probably probably about 50 pounds. 50 to 100. Okay, okay so we should we... not be throwing them. We're going to have to carry them. Uh, thick mm -hmm. metal interiors. We, we could try to rig something up with a grappling hook. Yeah. And slide them across. So it's not actually that hard to jump across with them. I'm just going to put that out there. Okay. I, I, okay. Yeah, let's just do yeah. that. Okay. So uh, it's an athletics roll from everybody who wants to do that. So go ahead. Okay. Uh, alternatively, go. reminder... You could just have one person jump across and then toss them to each other. Yeah, I think that's yeah. going to be the easiest way to do it. So, yeah, okay. Rain, you throw, I'll catch. Okay, I'm I not going to catch. You're, cool. I'm not hurt. I'm going to require. The I was only a little bit on fire. The yeah, thrower, but I wasn't on fire at all. <laughs> the thrower is going to be the one that makes the athletics check. The catcher is going to get it for free. Okay, which one of us feels more dexterous? You've been through the wars. I, I'll, I'll catch. I'm missing okay, fingers. Fine. I'm yeah. just okay, jumping across. You, okay, I'm just going right, to do athletics check from there. Yeah, uh, I got okay. a nine. Uh, so 18. 18? All right, you're going to... Um, oh, this is what confused me originally, actually, right? Is because you're going from roof to roof. Wait, are you going mm. from roof? No, you don't have to. Like because we have to climb back up to the roof. No, we got no, into the because car. the last car was the cargo car. You can open the wall. Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh, so. that's way cooler. Yeah. That is not in the module, but hey, it makes more sense. Uh, so uh, yeah. the wall is going to open, and you're going to see that the cargo chute on the other side, the train that's keeping pace with you, is also going to hey. automate it open. Uh, if you miss, All this right, is gonna going to hurt. Uh, but Vale, you you step back and leap across and are going to land on the cargo the cargo uh, grating on the other side easily. Oh, good. Who's next? All right. Uh, well, I, I was going to throw and I'm expecting Vale to catch. So is anybody else? We're jumping over to the to the train. Go now before oh, we you, start You talking. should catch me and I'll throw. And Ramon is still healing himself up and okay. heading over with uh, one of the crates. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Give me an athletics All right, then rain. I will jump. Uh, and... Uh, Beanie, were you he you were headed across as well, right? I think she's gonna throw the crates. Okay. If we're doing Beanie's the throw. Beanie's gonna throw. I'm gonna catch. Okay. Um, so the thrower is the one that makes the roll. I'm saying yep. that again. So yeah, if, her, if I mean you, her athletics pool yeah, is. But I'm like, I'm base jumping 14. over. Okay. So yeah, Rain, what did you get to so jump? I got twenty. Twenty. All right. You're gonna easily yeah. jump across. Uh, yeah. Beanie, grabbing one of the crates, you are gonna twist your back okay. as you should. Always twist and jerk when you're doing athletics. Yeah. Always. Yeah, as, as rough as you can. No smooth motion. And, and a 17. A uh, 17? You are going to... Oh, that's a close one, but it's going to land in Rain's arms. Boom. Done. Okay. Sweet. All right. And as you turn around, Ramon is going to be approaching with uh, with the third crate. <sighs> you you right. okay? <sighs> Let's just get this across. We'll deal with that later. Let's get it across. We can, Actually, we'll, we'll uh, bandage everybody. So, Rain, you and Beanie could have carried one each. So, technically, Beanie, you have the fourth crate next to you as well that you can hurl across. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Because it makes sense that you would have carried them and then start yeah. fucking them. Kind of like a moving yeah. game. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, go ahead and make me a roll to toss it to Rain. Up 16 this time. All right, I'm that's going poorly. to clear. It almost hits the wall, but Rain's going to catch it. Oh. And, Ramon, are you going to toss it or jump? I have the football. Uh... I will probably, I'll probably jump with it. Okay, so go ahead and make me an athletics roll. Okay. Uh, 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 you are at a minus two because you're mortally wounded. 
Uh, that, that, oh, Does that, go, right. uh, that doesn't go spend away. Some luck. Spend some luck. Yeah, you I'll, put spend all, some luck. I'll, put all, I'll put all my luck into it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's I'll almost like the game's five. almost over. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, put all so. the luck in. Uh, so that is... Uh, so that'll be 17, including that penalty. You are going to penalty. manage to leap across and land on the floor. Um, Beanie, are you going back for any of the other stuff? Right now, you just have the four containers. You didn't take anything oh, else yeah, from the Oh, yeah, absolutely. Scene. There's some sick loot here. Let's throw as much of it across as we can. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to say that by yourself, you can probably manage to, before it's going to get a little sketchy, to take three pieces of loot. So three well, crates of loot. we stick around until it gets a little bit sketchy? If you if you are staying by yourself, then you can take uh, you can take three, and then I'll roll a dice for every round afterwards to see whether or not it gets sketchier. Okay, well let's start with three, and then enter the sketch zone. Okay. So, so do I need to roll athletics for these three? Uh, yes, you will. So there were I believe I said three pieces of dermal armor, as well as three submachine guns. So, you can take I have any... a 19, a 29, and a 21. Beautiful. And there was also that cooler. Nice. Good neighbor. Cool. Yeah, let's throw, that, let's throw that cooler here, Friendly too. neighbor. Okay. Friendly neighbor. Friendly neighbor. That's right. Uh, yes. So, friendly neighbor uh, is a oh. cooler about this so big. So, this be the fourth round. Uh, so, as you... Uh, like oh. a football. Okay. Uh, fourth round. So, uh, you were going to toss a crate with a set of dermal armor. It's actually pretty light and is going to go across the gap really well. Uh, a second set of dermal uh, pardon me. So, you were choosing friendly neighbor, and then a dermal armor, sure, and let's... then submachine gun or dermal right, I armor. I guess. Let's do another dermal armor. Okay. We have yeah. some guns. Armor is good. Uh, in guns theory, you could, you could open up the crates of submachine guns and just take all three of them and just strap them to you and jump. Oh, well, like yeah. free crates. That's true. Free crates are free crates. <laughs> True. All right. Uh, anything else? You gonna go back for a fourth? Uh, I mean, she's just gonna keep going until there. Yeah. So let's do the fourth. Oh. Officer's okay. uh, officer's fancy uh, assault rifle, I believe, was described. The officer's assault rifle is laying on the ground. It is a poor quality assault rifle. Oh, oh. never mind. But it is an assault rifle. So fourth one. Should I roll athletics? Uh, go ahead. Sixteen. Oof. Sixteen. You are going to make make the toss. That's okay. like the, almost the lowest yeah. possible roll. Okay. Going back, you can search that room for something else if you'd like. Sure. Why not? Okay. Quick recon. Do a quick, do a quick, do a quick search. <laughs> Don't roll. get left behind. I think that's a human. Hurry up, Beanie. A human perception, probably. Yeah. Oh, sorry. One second. I'm getting. I've got subdermal armor. Oh, sorry, random thing came up. This okay. Um, so perception, right? Yep. I have a 21. 21. Uh, looking around the room, you are going to find... You are going to find a small box. It's... Sweet, free box. Let's take it and run. About the size of a lunchbox. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it has... Looks like it has a cyber deck in it. Ooh. Doesn't look like a particularly fancy Unsafe. one, but it's got a bunch of uh, a bunch of control nodes built into it. Looks like there might be what some programs cool or hacks in it. Yeah, Ooh. exactly. Maybe some there's some cool stuff on there. Deck. And it's not like, I mean, and, and honestly, if they have a, a, a netrunner somewhere on the train who we haven't found yet, they probably want this to find what I've done. So let's take it. Yep. All right. And so uh, she's going to grab that and then run to jump across. Okay. Go make me an athletics roll. Yes. Watch me botch this one. Oh shit! Knock, knock wood. Did you but I got thirteen. I mean, 13. I, I rolled a thirteen, which is okay. Uh, thirteen. I rolled a one and then a minus. Uh, you are going to leap across, and uh, you are going to uh, slam into the side of the rear train. Uh, you're able to grab and hold and start like scrabbling on the ground. Are your friends okay. going to help? Or okay. Yes. Ah. And they're going crap. to pull you up. Get the hell in here, Beanie. The trains. Uh, as his train slows and the cargo door is going to uh, I found a box. Fantastic. Okay, let's let's get the hell out of here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lie here for a while. Yeah, yeah we'll, yeah, we'll get hornets. Uh, okay. No. See if hornets got 
Oh, Any God, trauma team? Do we, need, do we need to see if Hornet's got a trauma team? No, uh, I, I, I think I do need a ripper, though. Oh. Okay. We can find Oof. you a ripper. Hmm. And as you say, the way no, I, here I popped out thinking I was going to be the one worse for wear. I was on fire, but that was brief and in comparison, very little. Hmm. The train hurls off into the darkness. And soon you'll find yourselves back. Back in Night City where you belong. You'll all get paid 2,000 credits each. You can add that to your dossier. Yeah. You will. Um, there are three sets of dermal armor. Mm. You can take them yes. and have them installed for a fee, or um, actually, this is military grade hardware. Um, Hornet's willing to buy them, to buy them off of you, straight up. Eight hundred eddies each. There's three of them, right? There's three of them. I feel like there's three of you. I, I would Is definitely like the, to the have machine one. guns. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, the uh, dermal armor. Oh, the dermal armor. There are three submachine guns. Submachine guns, I don't, I don't, I can't do anything with. Hmm? You could, all, you could sell them if you wanted to, because you, you're hacking. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's, let's sell the, sell the submachine guns. Are the submachine guns any good? Yeah, they're quality. I mean, I'll take a submachine gun. All right, yeah, if you okay. can use it. Okay. And uh, as well, you are going to find that there are a few programs inside of that machine uh, that you are looking through, Beanie. Uh, you're going to find that there is... Ooh, fancy. Uh, can you roll me a d6? Mm-hmm. Roll a one. Cool. Uh, you are going to find that there is a deck crash program. Oh, oh nice. that's a nice one. So that's a premium one, uh, and I said there were multiple, so you can roll me, uh, roll me two more. And if it's the same, it's something that you can't really use. I have a four, and another one. Okay, uh, so out of that, you'll find two programs, the deck crash and a nerve scrub. Oh, nice. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Which basically uh, deadens a... Um, Deadens a net an enemy net runner's uh, mental stats and reflexes, which fits in great with her kit. She's very set up to fight a net runner. Black ice is like okay, that's bad, but a net runner, she's gonna take that out. If you rolled a six, you could have gotten a black ice. She has one. You do have one, but it nice. kills net runners. Ooh, <laughs> that's so good. Um, all right, so you have those extra programs. Congratulations. And uh, you're all nice. going to be paid your money, which is enough to uh, to keep the bills going. Um, what are you doing with the box marked good neighbor? I wonder what's in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, did we ask Hornet if he knows anything about it? I don't know shit. I don't want to know shit. Fair. That's military. Hmm. You want it. It's you better not be a nuke. Then I definitely don't want it. But it's nice doing business with you. Let me know if you want any more jobs coming up. Yeah, we'll uh, keep uh, in touch course, for jobs we'll and uh, keep us in mind. Yeah. Come uh, by and uh, let's talk about business in the club. Mm -hmm. You head back to the club with your new loot. It's closing down late at night. It's almost dawn by the time you make it in. And as you all sit around mm -hmm. on the um, at one of the tables by the bar and put that small, cooler-sized crate. Um, it takes you about 20 minutes of tech and hacking, but you manage to crack it open. And as it slides open, you see something very startling inside, looking back at you. What do you mean, looking back at us? I think I'm gonna call game there. <laughs> it's Baby Yoda. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, Vale, so. you get to be the Mandalorian. It's oh. All right, guys. So let us see how your XP works. So earning improvement. After each session, the GM awards all players improvement points based on how successful they were in the mission. The mission was finished successfully or unsuccessfully. The players gain improvement points based on the group's success, taking the value from the group column, unless they did something the GM considers stand out from the rest of, from their play styles. If the players didn't finish the mission, blah. Okay. Uh, so. 
For instance, Bob is a warrior type that manages to defeat all the dreaded Team X by luring them in a crossfire trap. That would fall under very effective. So... Okay, so you get your primary and secondary only if you did not succeed the mission. So, uh, group did not succeed. No, group barely accomplished. Group worked together while accomplishing most of the mission goals. Everyone taking part. Um, I'm going to say that you stro you showed... Did you show strong cooperative skills? <laughs> no, you were kind of a mess. Uh, so what I'm going to yeah, do... Yeah, we were a mess. I'm going to give you guys the... It's first game, so I'm going to give you the boost. But normally you'd only be getting 30. So you're going to take 40 yeah. improvement points. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Cool. Thank you. And... And then, did somebody, does anybody, did anybody do something that was particularly stand out? Beanie was on fire. Beanie was on fire. Beanie, I'm going to oh, give you... I'm not sure that counts Ramona as standing was, out, though. Uh, Definitely standing out in a room. Beanie took out a lot of, uh, yeah, Beanie took out the, uh, uh, that program. That's true, but, but yeah. is that much different than just fighting somebody, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was just a multi-round fight. Okay, yeah. Uh, Beanie did do a good job scrubbing our tracks. Like, the rest yeah. of us didn't have any way of doing yeah. that. Right, so she didn't get to the turret program until the turret was already dead, but she did You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call yeah. it, I'm gonna call it the 40. I think the 40's generous. Okay. Okay. That's fair. So, mm -hmm. that is going to be it for this episode of Cyberpunk Red Spitfire. You guys have a good okay time? Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah was this was good. Yeah, no, that was a good yeah. time. The system is, is pretty fun. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's more complicated complicated than I thought and less complicated than I thought at the same time. Yeah, it, it, it is different. It is it is a different mm -hmm. game. It's a different set of mechanics, but I'm, yeah, I'm excited. You know, you know what I'd like to point out after running combat? Hmm. I think my character is Vistra of the future. Your future oh, yeah, Vistra? somebody actually yeah. mentioned it, that you're Vistra of the future. Vistra yeah. of the future. <laughs> future Vistra. Yes. Um, that's cute. All right, guys. You're so descendant of Vistra. You're taller, though. That's true. Well, you know, descend it. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to be it for us here on Dork Tales. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Be sure to watch all of our other stuff and uh, give us a follow or a subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. So we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.